just kind I... of... All right. Is everybody is everybody here? Is everybody everybody got their their water, whatever else they might need for for the day? All right, cool. Uh... We're starting a little bit late today, but that's okay because I imagine the hockey game was pretty cool, right? Yeah, there was like three fights. Heck yes. Okay, yeah. That's the only reason I would ever go to a hockey or soccer game is because the fans are insane. So, hell yeah. All right, so. Oh, that tasted awful. What have I done? I don't know. Ah, friends, welcome back to... Uh, what's this What's this game called again? I think it's called, like, I don't know, Mungeons and Dragons or something. Yeah, welcome back to Final Pathfinder. Fantasy? Final Fantasy 5th Edition. Um, oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn, that game had horrible graphics. Right? Uh, so, this is Ash Winter. Let's go ahead and get some music going. I did add a whole bunch of uh, new new tracks to our lineup tonight, and some of them are pretty awesome. Most of them were combat songs, but there's a couple of like calming songs in here, and I have a ton of other stuff that I haven't quite sorted through yet. But I did want to take a minute um, just for Heather's YouTube video here um, and kind of go over some of where, where our music comes from. <clears throat> we do have uh, several different places where the music comes from and like a huge, huge thank you to those people because they just kind of make this awesome music and they're like, hey, use this for free. Um, so where we get a lot of our music is from RollForFantasy.com. Um, Emily makes all of it and she does a fantastic job doing it. Uh, there's also Battle Bards, which are freaking awesome. Tabletop Audio, which does way more than just music. They have like soundscapes and everything. And then we also have um, we also have Kevin McLeod, who you can find at IncompTech.com, uh, and he does he he has the most like royalty free music I've ever seen of any library in the world, and a lot of it's just fantastic. So awesome music, cool. Thank you guys. So where we last left off, um, it was episode fifty four, goodbyes and new beginnings. Uh, you returned from from your uh, rescue of Groen and returned his soul to the uh, to his body. Uh, you had kind of talked with your individual deities at times, uh, speaking with them about various topics. You asked Jergal and Shandakul how you might trap or kill a Nightwalker, and you learned that uh, you could trap it in a pocket dimension or. Um, one of the ways that you can surely like physically trap it is a massive lead box. If you can get it into a lead box, then you could trap it that way. And uh, you learn that Nightwalkers can't truly die. They can be defeated, but it, it's, it's a temporary death as they are kind of the essence of death. So all they really, it's kind of like when a fiend dies, they just get sit back, sick back to hell. Something similar happens with Nightwalkers. And so it was recommended that you trap it, seal it away if you wanted to truly get rid of it. Um, Zuma discussed the Stormbow's origin and learned of Valyria Brightmar, who was a Valkyrie that uh, led a vast and, and ridiculous life, more or less, and eventually um, found herself as Thor's champion. Uh, Seraph does know who Valyria was, so you rolled on that and learned, you know, Seraph, Seraph recognizes the name at, at the bare minimum and knows a little bit about her. Um... Eve tried to communicate with the Raven Queen, but was interrupted. Her her connection with the Raven Queen was hijacked, it seems, by a uh, really weird woman named River, uh, who asked Eve to get Lily to send a sending. Um, you convened in the temple the next morning, and Lily did go ahead and send that sending, and River uh, fully collied straight out of Lily's head, hijacking the kind of magical connection that was brought about by the sending itself and kind of forced herself into Faerun from her own world. Uh, she nonsensically gave you as m a, a stream of information that didn't quite connect, uh, talking about how there's somebody on the, the Council of Orn who is um, perhaps working with, with maybe Ashwinter, Azekiel, um, maybe a betrayer, but you're not even really sure if she has anything. She's handed you all of her evidence for this, uh, but nobody's really gone through all of it yet. Um, the only real big clue that you have is that it, stint, that it stinks of death. Um, you also almost killed her. Uh, 
she she was looking pretty rough. Oz was just like, no, I'm not having your crap today. Um, and then from there, you return to Thunder's Reach, return Goro and Soul to his body, and sent out a um, ascending to Triss to call her for a meeting. She did say that she would be there uh, the next day. And I believe that's where we left off. So, who's ready for some D&D? Ready doesn't even begin to fucking describe it! <laughs> okay, then. Ooh, and, yeah, uh, brother! And Zuma taught to Suki. Oh, yeah, and Zuma talked to Suki. That's right, that's where we ended off. Zuma went to Suki. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, talk. And they, they talked. There's, there's, quote, there's air quotes around talked, right? Uh, so... I don't know. I don't know. But we pick up the next day. Everybody wakes up from their slumber. Um, what have you guys done with River, by the way? How are y'all handling that? Ah, uh, I mean, I assume Thunder's Reach has some kind of dungeon. Oh uh, yeah, there are prisons, and the keep itself has a dungeon underneath with cells and the like. I mean, I don't trust her. And we can have people watch her. I mean, I would say we put her in a cell and have the air elemental or somebody watch her. Oh, well, yeah, I can, you know, I can watch her, no problem. Yeah, okay, uh, I guess that's what we do then. Yeah, good talk, guys. Arguments. Good talk. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Let's, let's focus up on the gangs. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I agree with that. Just get her a nice bed. Okay, we get her a nice bed. Yeah, yeah hard quotes on nice. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I, I suppose you, you sh manacle uh, River. She does not object to this. She says, you know, all right, if that's the way it's got to be. And you lead her down to the dungeon. Um, the dungeon itself is well-maintained, but not exactly clean. Uh, but you, you throw in her in a cell, and um, they do have beds there. They have chamber pots within the cells themselves. And uh, she sits on the bed and kind of silently hums to herself. No, I mean, literally, like, I actually went up to one of the upper rooms and, like, got a bed. One of the nicer beds. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you fit the bed in the in the cell. Uh, it, it does take some work. The cell's not particularly big, but you, you manage it. She literally just came out of your forehead. <laughs> look, 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 look. Just because I don't trust her doesn't mean she shouldn't have some niceties. I mean, technically it was crown, but yeah. Crown? What? It was a crown on your head. It was back here. <laughs> She's like pointing oh, to her head. And the forehead's not very I don't know why anyone would ever want to come through there, you know? Seems like oh. a bad idea. Lily, like, feels the back of her head. <laughs> Take your head away, and, uh, hand away, and it's just, like, green blood everywhere. Like, Ugh! Is it, though? No. Oh. No, it feels perfectly normal. Hey. You're going to stay here till just just arrives and we'll talk to her. Um, sure. Yeah, all right. I'll sit right here. Uh, I guess I don't have anywhere else to be. Got here for... Got here, and I, I, I don't really... I don't really know a way back, so... <laughs> you can always try going back the way you came in. No. Nope. I don't know if she'd survive it. I'm not really keen on that idea. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll just sit right here, if that's all the same to you. Yep. All right, great. Yeah. Da, 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 da. She's like, like kicking her legs off the edge of the bed. 
God, she reminds me of Rue. I don't know what you've done, but now if Rue ever speaks, she has to have an Australian accent, and that's going to bother me. I said that in character, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because she does, like a little leg kicking, she's all happy and stuff. Like, reminds me of Rue. All right, so whenever you um, whenever you finish this task, you go back upstairs, and there are uh, there is breakfast that has been made from you, uh, from you. Oh, hold on, for you. <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute, we're we're getting a little dark here. Um, there is breakfast that has been made for you and uh, laid out on the table. The keep itself has been cleaned up considerably in your absence. Um, it's still parts of it are broken and in ruins, but uh, the rebuilding effort still continues. Um, but you do, you do have like functional rooms here in a functional dining space with a fairly large table and uh, you find uh, you find Sir Rutherford uh, serving you all breakfast. There is just about whatever you could really want here. Lots of different meats and veggies and um, he makes like this weird like bread stuff that's at first you like look at it and it looks a little bit like cornbread but you smell it and it smells <clears throat> really strange kind of almost metallic and then finally whoever tries it you bite into it and it's it's really soft and spongy and it tastes oddly like strawberries not really sure what's going on with that one but it's interesting um but you guys have this this big breakfast and everything else. And probably about uh, mid-morning, there is a sounding <laughs> on the front, uh, the front entrance to the keep, which is not like a traditional keep. It's not like a huge castle necessarily. <clears throat> um, the, the front entrance is protected by a gatehouse that is not in use currently so you guys like anybody could walk up to the front door right now um but you hear this just sounding knock on the door <laughs> over and over and currently the only people in the keep are you guys Salathiel, rutherford um sigil uh and i in river technically she's down in the dungeons and that's what's yeah. what's all this noise Oh, hello, everyone. Mm. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to immediately just uh, summon Hefe's revenge to my hand. <laughs> start, start walking over to that door. Hey, hey Oz, Oz, Oz. Let's, let's just <laughs> let's just open the door. It's probably someone chill. Don't worry. Are you forgetting we have a meeting with someone today, or are you just that tired, metal man? Uh, I cast telekinesis and open the door. Okay, the door opens and Oz standing in front of it uh, with your Hefe's Revenge out. Uh, as the as the door opens, you see it reveals uh, one, a familiar form. Um, Trist Stroud stands in front of you, her typical garb of various leathers and, and cloths. Uh, probably like, I don't know, 12 to 16 different pouches. Um, and next to her stands a form that you have not seen, standing about uh, seven or eight feet tall is a man with dark gray skin and a brutish face. He has three eyes, uh, and the eye at the top is vertical compared to the other two, uh, and it is a shining a bright gold. Uh, he looks something like a cross between an Osimar and an ogre. And uh, he, he like has one hand up, and he just stops knocking on the door. And he... It would appear they opened the door. No. Should I keep knocking? No, of course not. We didn't open the door, it's just a figment of your imagination. Trist just kind of like waves a hand at him like, uh, down. I'm gonna go get our guest. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll go get him. Go get her. I'll go get River. Hello, Oz. Hi. <sighs> She like just strolls into the uh, strolls into the keep, and the big man follows her. Uh, you see, also there are probably upwards of twenty to thirty people waiting in the courtyard. Like, um, 
they are wearing a large variety of different uniforms. Um, Why are there so many people? We oh. have a very important meeting today. Very important. But yeah, very important. Seems, seems like it. There's seems a lot like of when stuff. When you're involved, it's always important. Everything's important when I'm involved. <sighs> Everything. Is you called me us? here. Oh, these people aren't here for you. I They had to come because I was coming. This guy, and she points to the big guy. This is my new bodyguard. He doesn't have a name, so I've just been calling him Fist. And she he just kind of shrugs. Dead. <laughs> uh, I see you're having breakfast. Do you mind if I sit down? No, by all means. Your Thanks. keep is... The our, our keep is your keep. I was. She pulls out a chair and props both her feet up on the table and like snags this like loaf of bread and a piece of cheese and just starts munching down on it. <sighs> so, what was uh, what was the important stuff you had to talk to me about? Someone you should probably meet once Eve what? gets back. Do you go down and get River? I already said I did. Oh, okay, so yeah, Eve comes back up with River. She's um, <clears throat> still perfectly, you know, uh, content with being kind of led around. Meet and... our Crystal Spear neighbor. One of them. Triss raises an eyebrow. I'm afraid you're going to have to explain a little bit more than that. I have no idea what you're talking about. Aram. Hmm. So, like, she's from Arum? She came out of Lily's head, so yes. Supposedly, yeah. Is Arum in Lily's head? No. Whoa. She, d <laughs> 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 she uses... That's my ruse there. Where did you say you got this from? Whoa, hold on a second. Yeah, ruse in there. Wait, I'm like, mean? the seven gods just like Lily's different emotions? Hold on. I don't know. Whoa. Well, if it helps, oh, she reminds. I can neither confirm nor deny that Oz is also. Wait, what? Anyway, continue. <laughs> anyway, she reminds me a lot of uh, about Ori. Personality type is like Ori's. So it's probably because they're both played by the same person. No, wait, hold on. <laughs> Whoa, that's better gaming. <laughs> hold on, that's breaking the fourth wall. Uh, she just kind of cocks her head to the side and. Trustworthy? Uh, I don't know. Gives a look over River. <clears throat> All uh, right. Apparently, one of the uh, I don't want to say this out loud. Um, I'm gonna cast telepathic bond between how many people can I hit with this? Up to five, I think. Uh, among up to eight willing creatures. Nice. Okay. So I encompass the entire party. And uh, Triss and River. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. Boop. Um, and then continue speaking telepathically. She uh, apparently says that um, the one of the gods of death that's is uh, influencing the other. Influencing Aram. <clears throat> Tris just seems to be kind of contemplative at the moment. She's got the, the the typical like quizzical look on her face, and she's leaned back in her chair, um, still munching on the bread. But now she seems to like her pace of eating the food has changed. She's now like rapidly consuming it, uh, and she's still just kind of eyeing River up and down. And River just kind of gives a gives a little wave. Uh, yeah, um, pretty sure like one of your uh, death gods or. You know, playing the fuzzies over in Orem. Uh, oh yeah, she gave us a knife, right? Not very, uh, not very fond of it. So we don't, we don't really mess with gods and stuff over there. And Triss is just like, still staring at her. Do you have the knife or the book? Uh, yes, I think I had the knife. Do y'all have any information on this? Do you know what god it might be? No idea. We. Knew what one symbol was, but not the other. We couldn't figure it out. I'm saying this all in my head, by the way. And I hand her the yeah. dagger. 
Okay. She takes the dagger and she flips it over and uh, kind of looks over it and just kind of shakes her head a little bit as she she thumbs the symbol. I've got no idea. Did we read the book? Nope, I wouldn't let anyone. Yeah. Um, it was similar to uh, what Azekiel gave oh, you, right, and right, 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 right. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. linked to Morgan, and you sealed it away yeah. in a chest. Yep. Yeah, I sealed it away in a chest and gave Oz the key, yeah. mm-hmm. or the 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 mini chest. That's required yes, the the reliquary. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, it, it's it's well sealed. The dagger, however, I believe you guys did keep in your like active possession. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Because it wasn't magical. Okay. Yeah, it's not magical. It's just a dagger. Yeah. So, Triss thumbs the the symbols. I have no idea where this might have come from. I have no idea what this symbol means. I know what this symbol means, and she points to the other one, but lays it on the the table and takes another like piece of cheese. Well, did I cast Legend Lore on the dagger? I think I did. You did. It is uh, It is not of legendary importance. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she kind of shrugs. Hmm. The way I see it, we've got uh, a whole lot of contenders for this position. There's a lot of gods of death. There's a lot. Mm-hmm. That's why I said it. Could maybe be one on the council. Could also be someone that's evil. But well, she believed it was someone on the council. I'm pretty sure it's got to be somebody on the council. It's really only only them can mess around with the crystal spheres, as far as I know. I mean, I'm not not an expert on any of this stuff, though. Trish can just kind of shrugs. Any god with enough power could do it. Enough Doesn't power, have to be somebody on the council. Of an alliance with other gods to do so. That too. Yeah, and we know Amber Lee's not very fond of us. Who? Um, Amber Lee. Oh, yeah. So. Hmm. I can look into this more for you if you want. We can do some research, get some contacts out. Yes, um, Tris said she would like to help, but the only place we can think of her she'd actually be helpful <clears throat> is with you. Yes, because, uh, quite frankly, she doesn't have a way to get back home either, so maybe you could help her find a way home. <laughs> you watch Triss's expression change slowly from, like, <laughs> curiosity and, like, oh, no, more shit, to, oh, no, more people, and she, like, side-eyes River, just like... <laughs> You sure you don't need her around for anything? Nothing? We don't we don't trust her. Alright, I don't either. Uh she sure. said it was a good thing not to trust her. I mean we can just kill her. We could do that. You you realize she's hearing you through the telebo the bond, right? Yeah. Yeah, River just kinda of thinks like I'd really not like not to die. That'd be that'd be fantastic. At least you don't mind not losing your skin. I mean, at least she knows my intentions. Oh, I appreciate the honesty. Nothing if not honest. <laughs> um, Triss kind of takes the dagger and she folds it, folds it into one of the folds of her cloak. Um, she nods towards River and the big dude just kind of st- <laughs> walks over and uh, he looks over am I killing her? and uh, Triss looks over to the party I think that's y'all's decision I can use her if she's from Arum but at the same time I don't know if I trust her oh, if you, I so mean... I don't trust her, but you're the best person to keep an eye on her, and also maybe find her a way home. Because she's going to probably go out and look for a way home, along with stirring up some trouble as she put it through my dream. 
did we did we uh let's see here did we um even think about the idea that she may be Azekiel's you know sister or whatever Azekiel's sister lying to us which one Morgan or I don't know I don't know the bad one <laughs> the real bad Okay, either one. Doesn't really matter which. Do you really I mean, think her, his sister would let him, uh, let you pummel her like you did yesterday? Uh, we could... Um, have okay. you never lied to anyone? I have, I barely, rarely lie. Thank you very much. Hey, we could just have her submit to a detect thought spell. Like, detect I mean, fine. Like, like, telepathy? Like, you can read my mind and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I'm... If you, if you gotta, but... Ugh. Well, I mean, it's either that or we cut your head open and find out what's inside. Oh, oh. gosh. Oh. oh. No. That's not going to accomplish anything. That's <laughs> even, <laughs> even, Actually, even Triss no, goes, whoa. No, that was, Hold on. We could speak with Dad then, yeah. Okay, we could also see if her brain had robot parts in it. <laughs> this is also uh... true. Like the school? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that... Aren't you a robot? Not by choice. <gasps> hmm. What? You technically left yourself there to die, so yes, it's by choice. Uh, no, the choice yeah, but... was to protect all of you, not to die. You died anyway. Yeah, but... Did he ask for a robot body? What other kind of body was I gonna get? Somebody else's? Like Azekiel's? Yeah. I don't know, I, don't, I mean, I don't last time them. I ever I heard, this body. guy was supposed to be a dwarf. <laughs> and he's dwarf. not a dwarf. Yes, but they had a piece of his body. They had a piece of his body to, re like, rebuild it from. There was nothing left of me. I was disintegrated on an atomic level. You guys are weird. Do you know, do you know how much that hurts? I don't want I don't to know. find out. I imagine yeah. it's something like him yeah. eating us. Like last time. It's like, it's like having please, every please molecule stop. of your body ripped apart slowly and crushed beneath the fires of hell. <laughs> that sounds really unpleasant. Like, oh, Lily reaches out and like touches Audrey's shoulder. Please, please stop. I was just making sure that you were actually a robot and I wasn't just seeing things. I apologize. Um, technically, not a robot. Warforged is the preferred term. Well. <sighs> Okay, so you want me to cast the tech thoughts on her? Yes, uh, yes. that would be yeah. okay. helpful. Yeah. I'm gonna cast the tech thoughts. Okay, she like takes a deep breath as you do and <sighs> lets it out as you cast the spell. Um... So are you just instantly probing deeper? Yeah. Okay. That's what? what? Giggity. What are you looking for? Because there's a lot of information in an individual's brain. Well, we would start with her intentions. See if okay. she's. Her... I, I understand mischievous, but. She's in an interesting predicament here. Okay. So, whenever you. Whenever you. Let me think. No, oh, yeah, she's okay. I also got um... zone of truth. Okay. okay. Zone Shh. of goose. Zone... <laughs> Honk. Honk. <laughs> Side note: that part in the game awards. Well, I thought it was really inappropriate for the category because it was like impact. I was like, oh, come on! But at the same time, it was freaking hilarious. I died. oh yeah, Muppets are oh. great. Oh man, that was great. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Okay, y'all got me here. So, she does fail the Zone of Truth, and she fails the... Um, she fails the Detect Thoughts. You have a... You have both of those spells active on her in this moment. You start probing and looking for her intentions. Her intentions in coming here were not necessarily to inform you of this information that she was she has found. 
she is looking specifically for Oriana Ashcroft. Uh, yeah, so I guess I guess you guys get all of it right now. So River is from Arum. She has encountered quite a bit and done quite a lot in her life. Um, she's never been much of the adventurer type, but unfortunately she was thrust into it. And in her travels, she has found some pr particular information regarding crystal spheres and the existence of other worlds. Oriana Ashcroft was an individual that was mentioned in several places in some of these texts that she's found, and she is looking for the individual named Oriana Ashcroft. The information that she has retrieved thus far is what she has given you is still true. She has used you as a method of getting into this world because she knows that this is where Oriana currently is, or that as current as her information is. Um, and so her intention in coming here is to deliver the information that she has found to anyone that's capable of doing something with it, because currently she is not. She is an ally but she is also kind of using you for her own means here as a, as a means to get into the world to look for Oriana Ashcroft. Um, side intention here, uh, she is also looking for a... Um, she's also looking for a very particular set of, set of texts uh, concerning the necromancer named Orn. Uh, she has yet to find those in Aurum, and she has yet to find those in anywhere else that she's looked. Um, she's been to several different planes of existence, including um, places like... Uh, uh, what the fuck is the name of it? Oh my god, the Brass City. Uh, Elemental Plane of Fire. Um, she's been to the Hells. She has been to the Abyss. She has yet to find these texts that she's looking for, and she thinks maybe this is the next stop, um, because they are not anywhere else for her. So that's kind of the, the condensed version of her intentions. Okay, so nothing harmful. Not necessarily harmful. She's not she's not hostile to you. She is kind of indifferent to the plight of Faerun as a whole, or Toril as a whole. Except where it concerns the interference from Toril's deities in Arum. That's something that she is definitely not okay with. Um, she also... As you probe deeper and deeper into the thoughts here, um, you learn that she has uh, a little bit more information than what she was originally letting on. Uh, she has the dagger and she has the book that she's presented to you, but she retrieved this book from a uh, from a library in the Hells, not from Aram. This book specifically was locked away um, by a set of you know, various, uh, what do you call them? They're not demonic princes, they are the archdevils. By a set of various archdevils in one of the secret libraries in Hell, which they have many of. Um, she retrieved this specifically because this has a connection to the name Morrigan the Black, and she has traced the name Morrigan the Black to various individuals, one of them being Oriana Ashcroft. She believes that she can find Oriana by using this book. which she's kind of done at this point. So the book itself is not necessarily from Aram. It existed on Aram at one point and then went to the Hells. So I'm guessing that she used the book, even though she said she only used it for gibberish. You kind of guess that, and then you probe deeper. She has used the book, yes. She has written in the book and asked it questions, um, specifically questions about Oriana Ashcroft. And the why behind what she's looking for in Oriana Ashcroft is Oriana is a name that keeps popping up in every text that she reads. She's more or less kind of a historian of sorts. Um, but she is looking for a a reason for Aram to kind of be alone in the world. Because as far as Aram is concerned, it's separated from the rest of the Crystal Spheres in a very unique way. It does not have any extra planers, uh, extra planar um, substance around it or anything like that, whereas all of the other Crystal Spheres did. And she wants to know why, and she believes firmly that Oriana knows why. 
Hey, Tris. Yeah. What is Ori's last name? Moonflare. Okay. Her house, her intent isn't hostile. She's indifferent. I'm inciting would, Tris. Would you like to tell them who you're looking for? Uh, Lily, on your insight roll, you, um, she, she is telling the truth. Okay. What did you say <clears throat> just a second ago, Heather? I said, do you want to tell them what, who you're looking for? River kind of looks around at all of you. <sighs> yeah, I'm looking for, um, looking for a, a dame about this tall, stand a little bit like this. She's got horns. She's kind of pretty, but also she looks like she might kill you, kind of intimidating but um also she is just a liar and everything else and she, her name's oriana ashcroft oh goodbye oh what happened goodbye friend hey welcome back oh what happened her name is oriana ashcroft and she's uh she's here somewhere i'd like to uh i'd like to talk to her about some pretty important stuff. Can I? Trish just raises an eyebrow and look at all, looks at all of you. Yeah, what kind of important stuff? Isn't Ashcroft familiar to us? The name Ashcroft? Yes, you've heard it yeah. once. Yeah. Um, Where? The uh, Oz. She looks at you and she, um. So do you know? I'm a little bit of a a, a scholar, I guess. But do you know how crystal spheres work? They've got all this like goop and stuff around them. It's it's kind of this primordial ooze, you know? It's it's really strange. But um <clears throat> our crystal sphere over in Aurum, it doesn't have that at all. It is unique. It, it's unique as far as I found. I want I, I believe there might be other places that exist like this. And there has been a name that keeps popping up in, in a bunch of different places, and that's Oriana Ashcroft. Oriana Ashcroft, and and there's a, there's a lot of different um, instances of her name, and she's used tons of different aliases throughout the time and space, and she's been to so many different places. So have you. I would love. I haven't. Oh yeah, you oh, have. Wait. You've been to the hells, darling. Not not compared to her. And I've tried to follow her footsteps, but I don't know how she gets to the places that she got to. I have no idea how it happened. I. I don't understand it. I'm not a mage. I'm not a magician. I don't do magic. Is Tr the name Triss gave us, is that name familiar to you at all? The last name? Name? Yeah. No. Never heard that one before. Well, it's quite possible since you said she does different aliases. It could be the same person. I mean... Yeah, but who would use the first name and then just use a different last name? What? Hey, she has... We just use her name, first name. You have a picture of her? Um, no. You have a description? Yeah, I've got a description. I know what she looks like. Give me the description. Right, it stands about this tall. And she's got horns. And she's got kind of the steep red skin, pale red skin, and black hair. And sometimes she wears like weird clothes. Not all the descriptions well, I've got of her. That's vague. Well, it's pretty vague. Uh, Oz what? is gonna flick his switch to make him look like a tiefling. Okay. So, so kind of like this, you know, with the horns and the hair yeah, and the see exactly like that, skin. yeah. Is that what she's picturing? Um, yes. It's hard to get like a picture out of a thought, but but yes, that's that's more or less what she's thinking. Um, and how does she know this information from the book? Yes, she she has read descriptions of Oriana in multiple different places. I'm just trying to find her. And maybe, you know, tip you off to your gods being shit. Yes. Also, 
Maybe next time don't lie about the book. <coughs> No response. <laughs> <laughs> um. Also, oh, um. Also, you get a you get because of def detect thought. You you do get a sense of her emotional state. Um, her emotional state shape uh, state is scared shitless permanently. Twenty four seven, faking her confidence in every single aspect. This got too real. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Mood. <laughs> uh, she also found the book in the hells. Locked away by archdemons. Does Dusk and Ash mean anything to you? Dusk and Ash? Yes. Uh, uh, let's see. No, no, not at all. No, okay. Uh, Lily, you can roll a history check because I can tell it's on the tip of your tongue. Yeah. Can I guidance myself? Mm hmm. Ooh. Damn, nice. This is a big thunk right there. Um, Do I have advantage since it's on the tip of my tongue? Sure. <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay, great. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let me go <clears throat> see if I can find this. Uh, info. Doo -doo -doo. Yes, I believe it's here. Yep. So, um, you like something clicks in your head, and you're like, "Wait a goddamn second. And you go and you pull out the letter that Ori left you. Yeah. It's signed Oriana Ashcroft. See? I, okay. So I was looking, I was actually looking at my journal where I had it, the, the deciphered part of it written down. Yeah. That, okay. Yep. Uh, Lily, like, snaps her fingers. I fucking knew it. Um, and she holds out the letter. I, um, ooh. Oh yeah, that's a thing. I forgot she signed it like that. Uh huh. See, told you. Same name, just different last name. Yeah, she's she's uh, dead. Yeah, she's dead. Crestfallen. She... No, she's been to like everywhere. Uh, it's not possible. She might not be permanently dead, but she's dead so, right now. As she, as it stands right now, she cannot. She more or less sacrificed herself because she entangled herself into Mistress Vale. With Azekiel. Uh, yes, with Azekiel to prevent him from doing anything, really. But Azekiel started to absorb Mistress Vale. Um, and the only way to break uh, Azekiel out of the, the, the bond was for Ori to die. So, as it stands, she is dead. Maybe Triss can help you at some point, getting her back? But, for now... I don't think Ori's coming back. She, she left me explicit. I'd come back. It's true. Ori did leave me explicit instructions not to try to bring her back, so I'm not gonna try. Even after she Azekiel told... is dead? Hold on. She told you not to try and bring her back. That's true. Yeah, true. But we do stupid shit that people tell us not to do all the time. That is true also as true. well. Trish is kind of like... It's it's the like... No, yeah, you're right, Nod. Um, First, we should make sure that it isn't going to renew the bond again. Just saying. Well, no, we should wait until Azekiel's dead. Yeah, we need to kill that motherfucker. Yeah. I've been saying that this whole time. So... When when exactly are we... Are we going to kill him? Because I don't have we, any further information on him. I mean, the next time I see him, 
oh, would okay. be great. We're He's a little stab working on that. <laughs> I don't even I don't even stab people. You we stab that poor off. ass double ganger in the back. Being Meepo. Um so he's formally stab happy. Now he's chop happy. We we have some yeah. information. Um well, first off we need to visit. Um fuck, what is that plane of existence called? Celestia. We need to visit Celestia. Um and at the same like after that we need to visit Mechanus. Are you sure it's wise going to Mechanus whenever we destroyed his little pocket dimension filled with forbidden oh, knowledge? Yeah. And took his Ooh. champion. <laughs> sounds mm. spicy. I mean, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> I mean, I get it. We we have an in, but I think he's going to be a little pissed at us, regardless of what she says. Um, hey, look, I've been trying to f fucking kill a god for a while now. You can't kill him. He's like everything and nothing at the same time. Have fun with that. No. <clears throat> yeah, if you're gonna kill you a god, kill I don't recommend Primus. You should you should kill another one. <laughs> Pick a different god. <laughs> nope. Yeah, like I already got my set set. Oh no, right, guys. Sorry, guys. <sighs> nope. Tris Tris is just the DM right like, right now. Like, oh god. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're doing this. All right, Umberly would be like legit perfect for Oz. Listen now, he has to kill Primus now. Like it's it's done. All it's right. set in stone. Or, or <laughs> your boy kills. kills all the gods. Wow! You become the only god, and it Just actually Kratos becomes here. a monotheist like religion. <laughs> Just yep. Kratos, the Faerun pantheon. <laughs> Start moving on to the Elven pantheon afterwards. Big elf okay. energy. So <laughs> that's right. <sighs> Besides, she is safe from Azekiel's reach for now. Yes, I know. That's why we need to visit Celestia. Well, I need to. I meant going to Mechanist, darling. Oh, all right, all right. For, um, oh, what was her name again? I was protecting the other half for us. You would remember this. Her name is Fantasia of Elsewhere. Fantasia. Of Elsewhere. Um... But River, the uh, oh, yeah. person that stands before you, mm -hmm. Triss, mm -hmm. was uh, she has taken over Oriana's place in the organization that she leads. Yes. Maybe mm. there might be some documentation that Ori left behind. That you or maybe left? she can answer some questions that you have. Triss and River kind of lock eyes for a moment, and River just kind of shakes her head. She's, I don't think she can. I'm not sure that anyone can. Well, I mean, do you know whose soul, who holds Ori's soul, that can connect her to her soul to talk? Holy shit! You know, normal. everyone just looks at Lily. Let's see, yeah. Uh, Calm down. I, I cast sending uh, to Val. To Val? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, roll a d100 first. Oh, okay. She's um, still on. She is. She, she is. She is currently on a different plane of existence. Yeah, she's. She bamped the fuck out of there for now. Yeah, that succeeds. Uh, what did you do with Always Body? Uh... Lays at it. Why do you want to know? Uh. She okay. sends you ascending this time. She's again. Why do you want to know? Um, because speak with that. She sends you ascending. I do not have it anymore. I did not think it prudent to keep a corpse around. That's ridiculous. I said this sending back to her. You don't want to look at my bag of holding, then. <laughs> <laughs> if you want or his course <laughs> oh no you may have trouble retrieving it I had a moment of vindictiveness and dumped it in the astral sea I'm pretty sure Blaze took it no offense the group took it 
But Blaze uh, was going to take it to a temple to, you know. Didn't Val take Ori's body and her dagger, or was it she just took, the dagger? She took it was the just dagger, the dagger. And mm. Blaze took the body to a Raven tw Queen temple or a, a, a Night Goddess temple. Yeah, Val was going to stab <sighs> Ori with the dagger. Yeah, she was. That's and right. then she decided not to because Blaze talked her out of it. That's right. You know, sometimes the DM remembers things. And she took the dagger because it's okay. It's we an got insanely you. powerful artifact, and Val was little, like, "I don't trust any of you with this." Little yeah. butterfly up in the top of the screen, like, "Oh yeah." Um, okay. Ye okay. Her reply is, <clears throat> "It is at one of the temples of Kalimvor." Uh, what city would that have been? It would have been the closest city. Which would have been Silvery Moon. So it's. it's... With... Wait, what? So I got some bones to pick with that guy anyway. <laughs> some bones to pick with a god of death, really? Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, thanks, yeah. Mom. Love you. Um, be, be careful? It's a trailing question mark at the end of it. I was going to say, you too. Okay. Uh, so, right. Um, so we can get some information from her body. Uh, yeah. Let's... Everybody. Uh, Where's her body? Just gonna, just gonna <laughs> dig up a corpse. Uh, Temple yeah. of Kalimvor in Silvery Moon. Okay. Figure out where the fuck Silvery Moon actually is in relation <clears> to you <throat> right now. <laughs> Control F Silver Silvery Moon. It looks like they're over there by um uh, the Everland. By the Evermores. It's up in yep. the north right in Luar. Yeah. We're not too the far from it. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Cause we're what? Yeah, yep. the Okay. So yeah, it's not terribly far from you. We could go to Oakhurst and then go up. See? Right there. <laughs> oh god, Oakhurst. Jesus. Yeah, you still gotta go do your thing in Oakhurst. Who? Zuma. Zuma. Oh no. Unless if you're gonna ghost her in real life. That's fucked up, yo. Uh, well... I have diplomatic matters to handle here. <laughs> so, they're handled, bud. I think those are handled, bud. No, you see, you see, I was discussing things <gasps> last night. And yeah, we heard you, you discussing. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and I need to make sure that things are uh, taken care of here. But you are right. I need to. Isn't end that this. why you have people? All you have you to know, do is stop thinking with your leader, pants. You're really bad at delegating. You know what? Do what I do. Get you a guy. I don't. <laughs> I don't want a guy. I, I, I've taken care of things my, myself my whole life. It's kind of weird to have people work for you. Oh, it's not. It's great. It is pretty great. Yeah, I wish I should probably take care of that thing in Oakhurst. Do you want to borrow Cormier? Gonna have to take care of that for you. Lickety no, split. no, no. It, it, <laughs> Sending someone else to do it is ten times worse than it it doing it in person. It's, it's terrible. I need to take care of it in person. So we could go to Waterdeep and then travel north? Uh, well, I could. But would you mind if I did a pit stop for my inn? Do I have to kill anybody there? In Waterdeep? Waterdeep? Yeah, Waterdeep. Yeah, Waterdeep. What is your current think? list? I don't know. I sent it to you um, like a few weeks ago. Let me find okay, it. Okay, hold on. Got it in my notes somewhere. Wait, why do you have it? I have a list. What? I Are you checking list. it twice? I have a murder list. Yeah, uh, also what a murder we should list. do is we should go down to Neverwinter and get that I boat. I definitely have people to kill there. Um, no. I already checked on that. Oh, did you? Yes. Yeah. I oh, okay. was checking up on the tea thing and I gave um. I gave Oz a full update on how they're doing and how the construction looked. Oh, okay. 
All right, then, yeah, we can just go straight to Waterdeep. Um. Oh. And uh, while you check up on your end, there's actually some stuff I'd like to take care of as well. Uh, it was Wrath and Ruthamar, and then... Uh, da, 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 da. Ruth Ramar. Lorian, Lorian Waters. Yep, yeah, and Lorian Waters. So Waterdeep's a busy city for you. Is Ruth Ramar? No, Ruth Ramar's not in Waterdeep. I don't is know he? where Ruth Ramar yes, is. Yes, he is. Hold on. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. Yep. He's. he's oh, and the... Luce's name is carved into the arm. Yep. We agreed yep, yep, yep. that we wouldn't do Ruth Ramar until the end. Yes, no, I don't need to murder him yet, but he does need to be murdered. He can be some, murdered. Some point. Oh, Oz's list. Here it is right there. Okay, so you killed Jeffrey Cizor. Um, you've got Ruth Ramar, killed Lorian Rath. Waters. Yep, you've killed Wrath. Um, That's it, right there. Yeah. Couldn't find it via the... Oh, and say Yeah, that's not the list we're talking about. Oh, oh yeah, that list. Yeah, we're talking about the murder list. Talk was, about Oz's shit list. It was Cizor, it was Wrath, it was Ruth Ramar, Lorian Waters... Um, and you had somebody else on here, but I didn't write them down because I'm a garbage can. Um, the fuck was it? Yeah, same. <laughs> fuck. Let's just remember, it's garbage can, not garbage cannot. Yeah, but regardless of what garbage can do, it's still garbage. <laughs> Unless it's trash. And then it's worse. It's still trash can, not trash cannot. Could still be refuse. Trash. Oh, that's true. Yeah, refuse, very bottom. Alright, I don't have one for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. I refuse to refuse okay. And then Luce's name is carved into the side. I will have to look through my notes to find the missing name on here, because there's supposed to be one more name. But yeah, I... I'm looking through my notes now, but I don't... I don't see it anywhere, and I 100% just deleted my one note off my phone because it was bugging my phone out, so... Rip. Well, I... Th That's fine. I think... I'll find the missing name. Yeah, you'll find it. Don't worry about it. Take your time. Right, con continue. Well, we could do that. I mean... All I need to do is make sure they build a lair for Sir Smashy Smash. Um, and I have a pair of boots that have my name on it. I don't Technically think... they don't have your name on them. Um, Not yet. Uh, Inazuma, your... Uh, you should probably figure out exactly where the guy is with one of your wishes. With your boots. I don't know if I want to waste a wish on that. No, we can wish on that. ask. You Could, can ask around Waterdeep um, over there. I already checked on that too. Oh. He was out, remember? Who? And he had been gone for weeks. Mm. And no discernible location. I believe you were discussing. Um, While we were there, I believe. Ember, Ember Thorn, uh, Daggle, Daggle, Never Ember. There we go. Daggle, yeah. Never Ember. Yep. I mean, I would have one more wish left, and that could be useful, so I guess. Hey, why don't you use one of those wishes to break up with Miriam? You know what? Jeez. Why don't I just send you to do it since you're so great at breaking up people? Oh, I've never once broken up anyone. You have. You've broken up several people. Um. So, okay, dividing people in half is not the same thing. <laughs> Eve, Eve has her hand over her mouth, like, oh god. No, I, 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 I don't mean to end it like that. I mean, I, you're very persuasive, so I figured. You know what? No, I'm gonna handle this. I should be the one to do it. Be the man, please. I mean, using a wish would be like you. Would I mean, be... I, 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 I. Just let y'all know, I was Suki now. I, I, you I, know, I, I yeah, took, we know. <laughs> I, I took the plunge. I, I, I hmm. decided to go forth, and it was reciprocated. So there. Yo, I've got. I know a guy. He's a vampire. Can clean this problem up for you, lickety split. No problem. <laughs> no loose sense. What? Oh my god, no! You're you're literally saying you're gonna ask your brother to murder an innocent. 
I didn't say those words. <laughs> you strongly <laughs> hinted at it. I don't want to kill anyone, especially someone who I was going to be involved with, okay? I don't want to I mean, to it like... could just give her eternal life, and she could be happy forever. But, you know, whatever. Uh, if you want to also... break her heart and make her sad for all eternity. Also, another important note, we need to go to the crevice anyway for the uh, druid person. <laughs> While we're oh, in our ghost. Shortly, shortly after yeah. that. So you're cheating on someone and you're trying to be a leader? No. Wow. No, no, no. I, I, I need to clarify this. I, I never we it was I think never it's clear a enough. thing. It was never a thing. Nothing he, official. He let his but pants these... lead. <laughs> <laughs> but these guys have been saying the whole time that you can't leave her hanging and now you're saying that you took the plunge with another well, you're clearly cheating on someone I'm with not. another woman emotional it, it never deception happened. it never happened nothing never happened nothing came of it <laughs> nothing came of it because you kept dipping out because I wasn't sure at the time, and now I'm sure <laughs> and I like I said the whole party I ganging up on it as I wasn't sure about Miriam at the time, but I'm pretty sure now. And what have we learned from letting your pants lead you? Seraph just looks look, at Oz dumbfounded. Look, and you're going to let him not, lead? My pants have not led me this entire time, okay? I'm not allowed to lead things anymore. Says the man apparently, in the whole fucking cult. Apparently, Can't when I lead things, it's a cult. This. But I lead things, it's a cult. But when Zuma does it, it's government. This guy can't make proper decisions! Oh god. We are he owned and on over one woman until he was hey, able to get another woman. Like You are preaching to the choir, sister. Look. look I've been I trying to be in charge that... since the beginning. They don't want it to happen. Oh, he's too I... hot-headed. I'm fine with you making decisions. Just make sure that it, that chopping off fingers is the last resort. Yeah, and it was the last resort. You, you, Did he you, steal you, something? You, you know what? You, you know what, Oz? You know what? I don't know. I, 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 he was I'm a poor drop drug it. runner, it's though. It's not even worth it. You you did what you did, and there he was, was doing. It was drug. He was, he was dealing like, drugs. It was drug. It was a lesson, and his fingers are fine now. I know that now, and you know what? I'm never gonna use it against you again, okay? I but that. I, I need you to, to trust me that I'm gonna handle this situation and that it's gonna be taken care of, all right? Because yeah, so you, of. so what you're saying is that you do want it taken care of? No, no. I want to take care of it myself, okay? But you person, do want it. I know it, it, it's still a problem. But it's not a problem you, you, you oh. fix with, with violence. It's something you talk out with. It's not a problem that you fix with violence. I want to fix it. I don't want someone else to fix it. Okay. Well, hey. The offer stands. Not like we're I know. I know, a guy. A I know a few guys. Or anything. Oh, this is a serious talk. <clears throat> True. True. It would yeah, help, with my, it would help me develop my di diplomacy <laughs> skills when I have to talk with the 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 the, the, the uh, uh I'm so flustered right now. When so I have to talk to the, do... the royals, the, uh, the 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 nobles, because we have to convince them to give us money and to give us land and all this stuff. And I'm just I can take care of them too. No, no, they should not be killed. They shall not be killed. They You're using killed. this dirty word. I never said killed. You know, taking care of somebody could be... Maybe they just get lost in the woods. Or they go they go sailing and they aren't heard from anymore. Oh, God. Hey, accidents happen. Uh, Accident, uh, accidents happen. Aren't you guys borderline demigods? Whoa, hey. There's nothing Why do we about trust this. you guys? Eve is just do doing this. Like, uh, we're doomed! What the fuck? Is it gonna hurt? <laughs> no. <laughs> we're all doomed! Okay, yes, go. Uh, I, I cast Vain Death. On who? On Oz. <laughs> what? Okay. 
Oz. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> he just watches him drop. Oh. Okay. <laughs> At least there's no more talk of killing her. Tris just like stands up. She's what the fuck? Uh, no, he's fine. Don't worry. Um, I'm gonna take him. Bye. <sighs> I don't think Lily is strong enough to move Oz. I don't think so either. I don't think so either. Uh, Oz weighs 500 pounds. What yeah, is the in. duration of this? Oh, cool. Man. I have telekinesis. Uh, I need to go handle a thing. I'll be right back. Um, and I run back to my room. Shit, Seraph can't even pick him up. Yeah, it's alright. I can. Um, don't we need Zone of Truth still? Kind of in the middle of a conversation. Are you forgetting? Uh, that? it's it doesn't have concentration. Okay. I, I mean, I guess at this point I'm just going with Trissa. Or are we, are we killing me? I, I don't We'd rather like to not die. Uh, just, 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 just go with Trissa. Just go with Trissa. Yeah, there we go. That's a good idea. That's why she knocked him out. To keep him from talking about killing people. Triss rolls her eyes. Alright. There's a caravan back there. Just, uh... Fist will show you the way. And Fist, like, leads River out. Still in manacles. Oh, um, um, I think I would have taken those off. Uh, okay. Well, you. I didn't even know she had manacles on. <laughs> yeah, you guys manacled her and threw her in the dungeon. <laughs> I'm guessing Oz did that. All right, so. Um. Triss looks to all of you. She, uh. So I see you. You still have some issues to work through. We're, um, we're a mess. Don't don't judge. Gotcha. I will look into this information that River has presented me to you, and uh, I'm I'm also working on another project. I'm trying to build a bit of an alliance against um, situations such as this, such as this in in the future, and in and maybe something to deal with it right now. I know you've run into some interesting individuals in your travels. I was wondering if you could provide me with a list of them. Uh, Eve writes them down. You write down all the, all the like really weird people. Yep. yep. Okay. There. Okay. So the list would be Zavil the Watcher, Morvanun the Peacekeeper, Ayla the Windseeker, um, Kuvak the Uncanny. Fantasia of Elsewhere. You also met um, Jarla Albainre and a representative of House Reza in the Drow. Um, and Triss is kind of like stressing that she's anybody that you would think of as major allies. A list would be extremely helpful. <laughs> Eve kind of looks over to the Beholder. Oh. Who, who, who else would you consider major allies? I'm, I'm, I'm wondering. Uh, Valisaria Moonblade. Okay, you add Val to the list. I would consider my mother, but um, she's a merchant. She isn't a fighter. Okay, let's mm, see. Not that strong. I don't... Uh... Would you consider Kuvek an ally, out of curiosity? Kuvek. Kovac? He was the beholder. He is the beholder that's kind of like your informant within Xanar's Thieves Guild. Yeah, okay. Uh... But... I don't know how much you trust him. Kovac might be a good one, maybe. He's a beholder who wants okay. to overthrow the recent person. You know how okay. that goes. But uh, I don't know how much you could trust him. He just yeah. wants the organization. That's all he wants. He doesn't, he doesn't want everything to implode. It would be bad um, for business. Just as an FYI, uh, because mm -hmm. telepathic bond is active... Everyone can still hear the conversation. Okay. How? What's the range on it? Uh, Pretty sure it's like 500 feet. No. As long as you are not on another plane of existence. What the unholy... F what the cinnamon toast fuck is this? Okay. Communication is possible over any distance, though it can't extend to other planes of existence. Wow. Use, the awesome. range is 30 feet to cast it initially, but after that... <clears throat> huh. Okay. Nice. And I point over to the other boulder. Uh, Sir Smashy Mash, but uh, he works for me. I don't know if he's trustworthy. I don't know how crazy of a beholder he is yet. But he makes really good food. Also, 
Is he unconscious during this? Uh, I'm fairly certain that you are unconscious during Fane Yeah, so I guess. blinded and incapacitated. Okay. Um, uh, blinded and incapacitated is not the same thing as unconscious. Oh. Um, you can still think while incapacitated. Uh yeah, he would stick he would technically still be not just not just conscious but aware of his surroundings. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Incapacitated. Yeah, it, in fact, incapacitated doesn't even prevent you from moving. The only thing it prevents you from doing is you cannot take actions or reactions. <laughs> technically, in this moment, Oz can still take bonus actions. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on, you can use an action. Yeah. Oh, Incapacitated. An incapacitated creature cannot take actions or oh, no, reactions. No, speed is drops th drops to zero. The target has resistance. That doesn't stop him. Steps. That doesn't stop him from using that bonus actions. Not. So technically speaking, he could use bonus actions if he had any to use right now. So he can and use a pommel if he had one. He can also he, technically yes. He can, uh, he can also think. <laughs> he can like also he can. rage. He can. <laughs> Does that make you immune to incapacitated? <laughs> Um, oh, that's a good question. Only he just gets really angry and wakes back up. <laughs> <laughs> that's very on brand. It is, yeah. yeah. I would argue that rage would break that, yeah. yeah hold on, rage. <laughs> I'm curious now. I would. I don't think it normally does, but I feel rage like it would have to raging. in this instance. Uh, you gain resistance if you're able to cast spells. You rage less for one minute. It ends early. Or yeah, I would. I, I, I would. <laughs> <laughs> it also doesn't change anything. Is the best part because he can still participate in the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Oz, you you fall, um, you fall over. You find that you are not able to control or move your body in any manner whatsoever. However. You will, you can still hear everything that's being said. This is like being in that goddamn shield again. Or, or 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 the or, or the or dim. the uh, dim. <laughs> Have fun. Oof. I just like to imagine that like Lily knows and is just like holding him up with telekinesis as she just walks out of the castle. <laughs> no, no, take no, take me back, no. <laughs> No. No, I got some. No. Place. No. Oh, why? No, I was. No. <gasps> stop. <laughs> push, stop, stop pushing. Push, stop push, pushing. Push, stop pushing. Push, stop. Push, stop. Push, stop. Push, stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just growls. You can't see it, but I'm crossing my arms and I'm very angry right now. <laughs> I just. Uh, I. So you don't want to go to the Temple of Shandakul? For what? Why do I need to go there? Some of that meat. I have that meat. Oh. I think he's always got a surplus. I always have that. In you his don't chest cavity. There. Did you <laughs> leave? <laughs> Did you leave Shandakul's temple without taking the meat with you? <laughs> That's like disrespect. Ah. Uh. No. Are you, are you lying? Are you lying to me right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. I'll spot you this time. Really it... gently puts Oz down and like cancels the spell. I'm like, well, shit. Okay. You should eat some of that then because you need to calm down. See, there's a really big problem with you canceling the spell. What's that? You can't. Yes, I can. Is it concentration? No, I just no. touch him. Just a touch. Yep. Yeah. You can touch a willing creature for the duration or until you use an action to touch oh, until the target you... dismiss the spell. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> Damn. But since she was telepathing bonding, or not telepathic, but telekinesising, as soon as I was woke up, you would probably fall. No, I put you down first. <laughs> Good. I said it wasn't going to hurt, and it didn't. How but, fast did you just fucking throw that together? Relatively quickly. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I was sitting here watching it. So yeah. <laughs> nice one. I don't like it. I mean, it's not wrong though. <laughs> like that was just a sit. That was a sit moment. I was like, wait, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> what just happened? This is wrong. It's if I had to ask first. Oh god. In my defense, I thought it just made him unconscious. I fucking love D and D. <laughs> well, it's not like you could have used a sleep spell because Oz is immune to those. So I don't even know sleep. That's probably why she used feign death because she built you. <sighs> she Fair. helped. She Wait, helped those mean... other one other person. Helped. No spirit. I know where you're going. Oh, <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> just don't. Just don't. Yeah. No, that's. We, yeah, we've talked no. about that. That's we, incest. Le leave it. No. <laughs> what? No. no. Not. What the fuck? Not quite. <laughs> not quite. Not yet. <laughs> not quite. Not quite. <laughs> also, they're not related. Yeah, they're not related. That's You're what... no more related than Luna and Lily. Yeah, Luna and Lily aren't related either. Yeah. Fucking big she still brain. treated Luna like her daughter. Oh, well, well, not really. I mean, if she did, she's a terrible parent. Oh yeah, Lily's that Facts. <laughs> Look at her fucking mother. Okay. That's her no. role model. God, <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So, Dang. Zuma, you're going to check on Suki. You said, yeah. Suki's doing it great. She is up and she is working currently. Cool. Yes. Suki, uh, are you are you wanting to talk to her or just for a little, just for a bit? Yep. Just, um, just for a bit. <laughs> whenever you enter the chamber, she uh, she is currently at uh, the writing desk and she's like scribbling out some information in a journal. Um, and she looks over to you. Uh, hey. Hey, I see you're you're already at it this morning. Uh, yes, I get up early every morning and and go straight to work. Yeah, uh, I usually do too, but I guess um, I was tired. Yeah. Anyway, uh, had a big meeting just now. Mm -hmm. um, and looks like we're gonna be doing some more traveling. Um, so she just kind of is like nodding while she's writing, looks over at you occasionally. So just wanted to give you a heads up that I'll be traveling a little bit more, um, but I will be checking in from time to time. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, again, I can't thank you enough for you and. Um, Everyone pitching in. Um, just these things that are taking place are a little bit over my head and, you know, duty calls. It's, <laughs> I guess it, say. it's, it's what we do. It's what we're, it's what we're here for. But, uh, we're just... Gotta build a country, gotta build a government, gotta make sure that all the people are taken care of and fed, and gotta make sure we rebuild everything, and gotta make sure the supplies are lasting, the kobolds are taken care of, because right now, they're not being taken care of, they're left out on the street, and there's tents, there's uh, tents near the docks that are that are being torn down by the, the waves, and we've gotta make sure we deal with the harbor, because there's a bunch of stuff wrong with the harbor right now. <sighs> she stops and she goes, You, your job is to make sure that there's still a world for Thunder's Reach to exist in, my job is to make sure Thunder's Reach functions. Yes. Excellent. We make a great, we make a great team. <laughs> great team. Great team. Hopefully we still have a world soon. Because if not, then all of this is for nothing. Well, I have some... You you know my friends. They're, they're pretty powerful. I, I don't think... I think we have a pretty good shot at keeping it that way. She raises an eyebrow. Okay. Anyway... I didn't mean to bother you, but... No, you're not. I am just had some stuff to do. Gotcha. Cool beans. Um, did I just say that? Okay, I'm gonna go now. Um, and, 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 yeah, so... 
Uh, love you. See you later. Bye. Whoa. Whoa, damn. What? 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 <laughs> Whoa, damn. Man. She like one day. Damn. <laughs> like technically from not one the day. bottom floor of the cat like of the castle you just hear whoa <laughs> <laughs> oh that's right it's telepathic <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow I, I imagine everyone else is being silent and then and Azuma said that and Oz is just like whoa <laughs> go get him boy hurt girl boy wait what, what? <laughs> What is going on? Did you just fucking have a, like an aneurysm? What just, just happened? <laughs> Shit, you might as well knock everything off the desk at this point. <laughs> like, Jesus. Please, please don't you start turn off the bond first. Got the, um... <laughs> please. please don't. I don't want to hear that again. Again? <laughs> Do you need help? I think we all need help at this point. <sighs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> great. <laughs> M- most excellent series of events. Don't, don't <sighs> judge us. We got our problems. Oh, I'm, I'm only judging myself here. Apparently oh, we have that, another one now. That was Eve to Triss. Oh god, uh, Triss would have- oh no. It's so Triss is, river. Triss is, Triss is just like, uh, I don't care about your personal lives, it's not my business, it's okay. Good, because I don't want you butting into our personal business. I wasn't, thank you. Mm. Bitch. I love you too. What? <clears throat> Lily writes down on a piece of paper, uh, handing it to us, and it basically just says, D- did you still want to go through with, the?" Uh, We'll oh yeah, for show. Uh, for sh- for show. For sure. For show. Sure. Um, for anyone sure. else can think of any allies that I missed? Uh, uh, we have like 30 in this castle. Uh, not what I meant. So the allies that you've given her so far are this this list. I think that's supposed to be an I there instead of an E. I mean, do I don't you have know. us as allies? If you're talking about Val's name, I'm going to be very honest and say I do not care to learn how to spell her name. That's fine. That's the fine. spelling of her name is insane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the point. Just like you is a uh, name. I will delete your character sheet. <laughs> Hello, you too. Um... Let me go through my notes on important people. Yeah, I just want to know. I just want to note down <clears throat> what you guys tell her, uh, so that I know what to do with that information. Let's see. Uh, uh, Sigil's dead, right? Sigil? No, Sigil's alive. No, he came back. He's yeah, he's, he's still wandering around the castle for all I know. Yeah, he uh-huh. is. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have. Because he I came to try and kill you. Goes to myself. <laughs> Very specific allies. Okay. So, what else are you giving her? Is that it? I don't think we have any more allies. Um. Okay. Yeah. The only For two now. I can think of are Fantasia. Which we have. Kind of, and oh, is Fantasia on there? I don't, I don't think Fantasia's on there. No. Okay. Who? So, Fantasia, Fantasia. elsewhere. Oh. Um, and then Sigil. Okay. Yeah, Sigil. Yeah. What about Sigil? Did you Sig? Since we got his situation, uh, sorted. The murder, Mur- murdery. Oblivion. Yeah. She takes down that as a note and she like folds it up and sticks it in one of her pouches. She... Alright, good to know. I'm gonna take a look and do some research and I have some plans for perhaps an organized resistance. I wouldn't try to bring Fantasia out of where she is. She's protecting something very valuable. Noted. And what are you resisting against? 
currently as a kill. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I got. Uh, I have. I have a lot of. A lot of allies. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said that delivery was so good. Lily, oh, should we yes? ask her to look more into the book for us? See if there might be a way to track who's on the other side. Oh no, uh, this book is not leaving my chest. It's I, not, I, but I'm just saying. Um, she could try. Uh, it can't hurt. You just can't have the book. Yeah, can't have the book. You can't see or touch uh, the book. Um, the book she was that she gave us was made from Morgan the Black, <clears throat> I believe. Yes. Um, I believe he said it was a series of tomes. Um, I believe it was originally made in Arum. By the information I got from River. Mm -hmm. uh, she found it in the hills. And now it's back here. Uh, is there any way for us to know who the information that's being written down is being sent to or finding uh, what we can do to it or with it who are you asking I'm asking Triss oh um she thinks for a second and uh, she shakes her head I'm afraid I'm not sure. I, I don't. I don't deal with this type of thing very often. We've heard about these books in the past, but uh, we don't really know how they work. But I can I can look into that some more as well if you'd like. I'd like that. She nods. The more information you know. Wouldn't hurt. Okay. So. Um, and then... Were you two headed to the Temple of Shondakul? Uh, no. No. Okay. Gotcha. Um, Alright. I don't think so. Uh, I don't believe so. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I, I wasn't sure because you had started there, but I, was, I wasn't sure if you were going to continue. I was going there to... to... Yeah, I get you. Yeah, but then Alice said he had some. Should you like, oh, want okay. to talk to Sigil or Celestial, they're here in the keep somewhere. Like a thaumaturge and call them down. Uh, n no, I'll, I'll contact them on my own time. Currently, I'm just trying to work and form a uh, dossier on all of these different individuals and see what I can do. <clears throat> Oh, uh, the dragon, the peacekeeper one, um, uh, mm -hmm. I think you can just say his name, but I would be very careful, because you might accidentally summon him. N noted? She's, like, weirdly confused, like, uh, oh, okay? He told us to say his name, and he'd hear him, and he'd come. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good to know. But I think it's just us. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Okay. Uh, any anything else? Uh, nothing else okay. I can think of. Excellent. So I appreciate the information. Um, I will do my best to dig up something for you on this. Uh, and she kind of like you see her kind of thumb the dagger a little bit under uh, inside of her her coat. And uh, I have a lot of work to do. And she looks out towards the um, she looks out towards the like caravan that's kind of following her around. Um, uh, there is one question. Mm -hmm. um, do you know where Embergrasp went? Um, at all? Fuck, her rolls are awful tonight. She shakes her head. We've been looking for Embergrasp, but we have not heard from him or seen him in several months now. The fuck's an Embergrasp? Uh, or Embergrasp. Never mind. I thought you were talking about 
Um, uh, Never Ember. Yeah, Never Ember is who I was talking oh. about. Okay, you were talking about Never Ember. Yeah. Okay. Ember Grasp is the uh, I, Twin City. I, I know. I looked at it okay. and I said that by accident. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Uh, Never Ember is, is who she's talking about. They haven't seen Never Ember in a couple of months now. He has. He's just disappeared off the grid. Yeah, he has one of the artifacts. And Emma, Inazuma really wants it. She just kind of nods. You might have to find him yourself. We can put out fillers for him if you want, but I'm not sure if they'll how bear any fruit. How many people are in your little entourage? Uh, the one following me around right now, about 30. Yeah, like total? I'm not sure that I follow. Like, like how many how many people do you have in your... Cold whatever... Vision. Under my yeah, employee? that's the word. I mean, I don't know if they all work for you. That seems terrible. You, you realize that, it, that they rely on um, Mercs, too, right? Uh -huh. Current, currently, people that are actually in, in my employee directly, I have, I don't know, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 or 60. And oh, that's it? <clears throat> yes, she raises an eyebrow. You poor thing. Uh-huh. He's starting a cult. Help me. It's not a cult. Yes, oh, it is. Oh. That, see, we have a dossier on that. Hold on. She, like, see, opens up no. another pouch and she starts it's flipping through cult. some files. It's just a collection of like-minded people who would die for their leader if it was requested of them. She, she looks up at you, she goes, You just described a cult. Uh-huh. Uh, let's, let's not call it that. Uh, <laughs> 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 she legitimately just busts out laughing. It's one of the first times she's ever, like, like shown any form of humor other than sarcasm. She, she just shakes her head. She takes out a piece of paper and she she takes out a uh, she takes out a little uh, a little marker object and she kind of marks off the top of the piece of paper, scribbles it out. She goes, "Okay, what's it called? What's what called? You're following." Oh, I'm not telling you that. Okay. She just. I'm not writes. giving you any information. If you have a dossier on us, you should already know. She writes uh, <laughs> at the top of it. She, well, it was called the. Uh, the cult of the quiet ones, but I guess no. That's we did that right. a long time ago. Nods. <laughs> she, you you catch, or I, I guess you can't see her writing because you're not there. But um, she just kind of mentally mentally gives you gives you a nod, like oh okay. So it's not a cult. No. <laughs> Eve it's, actually says it's not uh -huh. loud. It is a cult. Okay. <laughs> Okay. It's what is government? You... Uh, mid uh, midnight order. That's what you guys are with, right? Uh, that is our organization. Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah. No, I just needed. Yeah. No, I got it. Uh, are okay. You... Are mm -hmm. you gonna name it the Midnoon Order? No. <laughs> what? That's stupid. <laughs> no. But looking for Sun Shield isn't. <sighs> Hey, My that worked. <laughs> I don't know how it worked. I'm so confused. These stupid guards. Sometimes you just have to. Sometimes you just have to look for a stupid name. Wing it. Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. Eventually, eventually the DM will roll and go. You know what? That's a real name. Fuck it. <laughs> Eventually, the <laughs> dice will just say, "No, this this works," and the DM goes, legit. "Okay, yeah, that tracks." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I love D and D. Okay, so. all right. So are we all are we all good? Are we good? We've if we good. We spilled our guts. Sounds good to me. We convene here in twenty four hours. What? If if we're gonna go all the way to Silver Moon, that's gonna take us a while. Yeah, I need to do some stuff here. Yeah, that's in a totally different universe. <laughs> God. 
because uh, she said Warcraft silver moon. <laughs> silver uh, moon. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I uh, saw the opportunity, so I took it. You're a bad person. <laughs> I am a bad person. It's okay. I forgive you. <clears throat> Do you? But but no, seriously. I I have I have something I have to take care of. Okay, go take care of it. I'm going to talk to Sir Smashy Smash on what kind of lair he wants and how big and... Wait, are you building a lair for the Beholder? Yes. Are you actually doing it? Yes. What the fuck? Uh -oh. is, where would he live? I don't know, but I did not expect this. This is, I, this is heartwarming. It's, it's part of his contract, so yes, she's going to do it. She ain't gonna nag on that. Great, awesome. Like, how he wants it designed, if he wants lots of shells for his stuffed animals, if he wants pedestals for his big stuffed animals, whatever stuffed animals are. I just want to point out, the only person that's given him a stuffed animal is fucking Scylla. Because yep. Scylla knew what they were, and I'm going to also take his... Bun his what, what was it again? Bunny rabbit or a bear? Do you legitimately oh. expect me to remember this? I'm asking a bunny. our... Bunny? Okay. Uh... Yeah. I was going to take it and actually go to a skilled tailorer or to see if they can't make something similar and start, you know, making different types of animals and shit and giving them like a budget and like freedom to do whatever materials they want pretty much except the stupid expensive shit. Hmm. Stuffed animals get invented. I appreciate the uh, information and the meeting. If you have anything else, feel free to call me at any time. And uh, Triss, you you can hear you hear the like the click where the conference call ends. <laughs> you cancel it. I don't think you can. She can <laughs> probably fairly block certain out. she can. She can block you out. Oh yeah, because yeah, you have to be. Wait, you forged telepathic link up among up to eight. Oh yeah, willing creatures. Okay, so you're you're just no longer willing. It just ends. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Enjoy your time here, River. Eh. We'll try. Thanks for not killing me. Um, is there some? River. Oh, I was gonna ask her if she wanted what kind of questions she wanted us to ask the corpse. Oh, okay. <laughs> For her. Yes. She's already hung up. Well, I, I guess... Mean, they're still in the same room, so... No. The giant oh. guy took, them off, took her off. Yeah. Um, well, I know her motives, and she wants to know... I have questions like, alone, so, you know. Yeah. She wants to know why Aram is special, pretty much, compared to all others in isolated stuff. Noted. Okay. Um. Yeah, Lily clicks that off as well. Okay. And the telepathic bond would end. Yeah. All right. So come with me, else. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. The last time you made me where I couldn't move anymore. I promise I won't do that again. Alright. <laughs> I hope. Don't believe. You said you, no. You said no promise. Well, uh, if it accidentally no, you're, happened... No. Oh, <laughs> Alright. Alright. All right. All right, ah, we're so... going to the temple saloon. Which temple? The Temple of Saloon? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you head to the Temple of Saloon. Uh, the priests are there and going about their daily duties and business. Is this where you're performing said ritual? Uh, I'm gonna walk up to one of the priests. Hi, uh, hi, Priestess of Saloon. I need, uh, like a private room for 24 hours. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, private room? I suppose you could borrow one of these it's like this older gentleman and he he leads you down uh, a hallway um the the walls here are like really fine 
uh, finely carved stone uh, and intricate designs all along them. And then the doors are these like sliding. Um, they're kind of like the doors in like uh, Japanese houses where they're not yeah. really full doors. They're like paper doors and they slide. Um, and that's the kind that they have here, more or less. And he slides it to the side. You could use this room if you wanted. It's usually just a storage room, but it's the only privacy I think you'll find in this temple. Perfect. I uh, I just need to not be distracted from my Great. Spouse. Yeah. Yeah. You go ahead and use it. Don't mind all the salt. All right. And just turns around and starts walking off. Didn't even fucking question. <laughs> I mean, you're wearing High Priestess of Saloon Garb, like... That's fair. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like a, oh, fuck, what's she want? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> if if you're, a, if you're like, a, like, lower management, and the fucking CEO walks into the building, you're just kind of like, oh, fuck, uh, yeah, yeah, boss, yeah, boss. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, but yeah you you enter into the room and it's got a couple of barrels in it um there are uh these are like barrels of salted meats and such uh and there's also one keg of some kind of spirit in there it looks maybe like a like a red wine perhaps I'm not sure but other than that there's not really much else in here it's a pretty barren room um Right, this is going to take a while, so bear with me, because I have, I have, I have That's a lot of salt. <laughs> First words, a lot of salt. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you sure we need this? <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh. Just sit down. <laughs> okay. Um, Lily's gonna place her hand like on his soul gem necklace thing, and then make a prayer to Saloon and be like, "Uh, if you're not busy, is it too much to ask for some guidance?" Of course, and. Are, are you casting guidance on yourself? Uh, or I guess. What, what are you what are you doing with this? Uh, I don't know. I was okay. kind of asking for her assistance, I guess. What is it you need my assistance in? I don't know. Because I don't know what this entails. <laughs> 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 Bonding his mind soul. Well, there are many marriage ceremonies you could perform uh, and... No, no, like, actually... Hmm. Like, as a familiar? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean... I think this is technically possible, so bonds exist. I have 32 teeth. What? I'm fairly certain I gave you 40. What? What did you do with the other eight? Um, so Saloon Lost. takes some time to explain the process and also potential consequences of soul bonds. They are uh, deeply... They are in, innately powerful things um, that can be exploited to kind of take two individuals and uh, bond them like a familiar to an extent, but also not. They're not really like familiar and, and, and master or anything like that. It's more they, they share a kind of almost connected <laughs> essence in a way, uh, and it allows them to, um, it allows them to partake in a number of different potential magical abilities that can emerge from that, that bond. Uh, 
not well understood. Doesn't happen very often because it's also fairly dangerous. Um, there can be consequences to this. So she lets you know that in in the past, some soul bonds have occurred where one person in the soul bond has died and the other one just died on the spot. Or one has felt tremendous pain and the other one feels it. You are connected at the soul, so if one person were to, say, get cursed by a soul curse of some kind, a dreadful, you know, soul curse that, that transcends mortality, then you would likely also be affected by that same thing because you are connected at the soul. Not the same soul, but connected. I relay this. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, so... Did they eat all of this salt? <laughs> <laughs> I... Can... Can we have this wine? The... The wine? Yeah, isn't there like a cask of wine here? Yeah, there's a big cask of wine. I... I... I mean, if they're just sitting it in here, it means they're not using it. Because I am I, feeling especially dramatic, it is specifically a cask of Amontillado. Well, why, why Why? would they have wine? Um, for sermon. Well, I mean, that and also, like, people live in the temple, like, wine is a really common beverage because it, it is, in a way, antibacterial. Like, that's fair, yeah. Yeah. I think anyone would question, like, a high priest is taking, like, a cask. They probably wouldn't directly question you. They might, uh, they might complain to their, their friends about it afterwards. Damn, these high priestesses and their wine thieving. You know what you do? You pay for it. Leave. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave some gold in its place. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, yeah, just, just take it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, you're keep, yeah, I'm listening. All right. Gonna do it anyway. Okay, oh, this if you are sure. Yeah? I can guide your hand in this. It is a difficult process, but one that I believe you are capable of completing. And uh, she guides you through it. So the ritual takes, uh, this ritual takes eight hours. Oh, At the end of it, okay. you... At the end of it, you will both have a point of exhaustion. Um, but you will have the soul bond active. And from that point forward, Oz will technically be considered Lily's familiar. There are a number of benefits to this. Um, one second here. What? Okay. So. God damn it. So Oz is not forced to obey anything that Lily says. Um, you, as as it was stressed, this is a soul bond, not necessarily. You're not summoning a familiar. Also, um, music stopped. Oh, sorry. Lily will gain most of the benefit from this. Um, Oz will also gain some benefit from it as well. Let's see here. Where's that at? This one. I think so. Yeah. Uh. Okay, and as long as the bond persists, um, telepathic communication is instant between the two of you without telepathic bond being needed. Uh, so long as you are on the same plane of existence, you can instantly telepathically communicate with each other. Um, if you're if you're within a hundred feet of each other, you can actually either one of you can take an action to look through the other's eyes, so long as the other is is willing. So you can use that that portion of find familiar through either one of you. Um, Oz can be immediately shunted to a pocket dimension, but he has to be willing. Uh, other things that... Let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um... Both Lily and Oz gain special knowledge of each other's uh, location, so you always know exactly which direction you are in and how far away, approximately, 
you are from each other. Um, Which you is... know, you know each other's state of states of consciousness. Again, this is all while you're on the same plane. If you are no longer on the same plane as each other, pretty much all of this immediately stops. Um, you know each other's states of consciousness, so you know if you're unconscious or not. Um, you also you can um, gain an idea of the other person's uh, physical state of being as well, whether they are heavily injured or not. Um, Oz can use a... Uh, if any time that Lily takes damage, Oz can use his reaction to immediately teleport to Lily and take the damage for her. Um, so long as they were, you were within 100 feet of her. Oh, fuck. That's really cool. What? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Sick. Yep. And then Oz also gains access to a cantrip that Lily knows and a first level spell that Lily knows. And you can cast them both once per day. And um, it has to be on Lily's like known spells. So if it's if it's a cleric spell that's fine or if it's one of her domain spells that's fine. She does not have to have it prepared. Sick. Uh, you also get one cancel it. Yeah. So it's it's a first level spell for that and a cantrip, and you can use the first level spell and the cantrip, or no, you can use the cantrip whenever you want. You can use the first level spell once per day. <laughs> All right. The ritual itself is long and complicated. Uh, it takes is the like exhaustion a... due to uh, lack of rest. Um, it's not due to a lack of rest. It is due to a uh, a spiritual strain on the soul itself. Okay, it just is sure because as a warforged, I would be resistant to exhaustion due to lack of rest. Gotcha. No, this is this is a make sure. physical physical and spiritual strain. Um, okay. the the ritual itself takes eight hours. Uh, it is exhausting. Um, it is primarily consisted of uh concentration and there are elements of it where you have to um, you have to talk to each other and, and understand each other uh, through different different methods of communication and as the as the bond builds over time you slowly like start to gain access to these abilities and like halfway through it the, te the, the telepathy kicks in and you're just both like oh um, can Le the most important thing that I need to know because mm -hmm. it is now can Lily see adventure? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't even fucking think about this. Holy shit! Or do you mean here? The ritual itself completes, and both of you <laughs> oh are exhausted mentally, physically, spiritually. It's a very special. It's a. It's a very weird kind of exhaustion. You know that kind of exhaustion where. It, it, it soaks in almost to the marrow. You're just so tired, you just fucking can't. That is that kind of exhaustion. Um, it, it's, it feels like it just comes straight from the depths of your soul, because it it, it does. Um, and Lily, you... Um, you finish concentrating on one particular element of the ritual, like a piece of chalk in your hand, drawing a symbol on the ground, and um, as the symbol completes... <sighs> And you look over, and sitting on the ground next to both of you, there's this little red fire slug. And it looks up at you, and it says, Adventure. Lily, like, not, now, not now, buddy. Not now. <laughs> what? I, did that slug just talk? Adventure. It, it, he's a slug. The, it, it talks. Yeah. Lily looks down at it. What? C 
can you say anything other than adventure? Adventure. Have you considered the possibly his cast? The slug? Yeah. No. He seems to enjoy it, just hanging out. He likes to watch me kill stuff. I... I... I'm too tired. I mean, he's been here since, like, the first time we went to hell. I'm just happy somebody else can see him. You guys, sure. you, you guys have seen me talking to him before. I'm going to be real honest. I thought you were just being weird and crazy. Do you guys thought I was crazy? Yeah. Yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So does he eat? No. I'm pretty sure he's some kind of spirit or something like that. Kind of hangs out. What? I. I'm going to cast Detect Magic. Okay. The slug is not magical. What? There is no magical essence emanating from the slug. <clears throat> like I said, probably just a spirit, soul of some kind, not just like hanging out, going on adventures. Ah. Uh. No. The slug is Oz. Dead Whoa. Oz. Whoa, just I... don't even get me started on this shit. <laughs> All right, he's not magical. He's... I... It's... <clears throat> Adventure. I know, bud. I know. Adventure. Adventure. <laughs> Adventure. Ad Adventure. <laughs> oh, you can't say that. Oh, it's like sorry. the slow, like, reluctant acceptance of adventure. <clears throat> That's racist. You can't adventure! say Adventure! Whoa. Not what? Not... No, I have no idea what he's saying. I'm just messing with you. Oh, my <laughs> fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, you're not. <laughs> Wow! I'm fucking, I can hear the spirit. Die. I can hear the squeaking. <laughs> She's dying. It's like a dog with a toy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, spirit, we love you. Oh shit! Oh my gosh! Five. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That that <laughs> is an excellent place to take a break. It is one a.m. I do not know if you guys want to keep going until two or not. I have oh, heard Gucci. five oh, different yeah. things, five different explanations to my laugh. <laughs> Choking a puppy, a hyena, a giraffe. Oh, I could see the hyena. A dog with a chew toy. <laughs> And a zebra. A fox. And a guinea pig. Ooh. It could oh, definitely six. be a fox. Seven. Thanks. Yo, foxes make the most terrifying <laughs> noise. No, they're cute. That is not a cute noise. It that is. sounds like something's being shot in the fucking face. I, I feel... Uh, wow. I didn't know we had a fox hater here. Damn. Damn. I love foxes. I love foxes. <laughs> they're adorable. But that noise... They fucking sound weird. <laughs> right? You, just because you love something doesn't mean you have to like the noises it makes. This is yeah. true. <laughs> hmm. I think we both just had the same thought. 
What? <laughs> I think we all so had the same thought. I was break? thinking of my rabbit. Yeah, we're gonna go. I was thinking of sex noises. We'll go ahead and take a break here. Oh my god. Are we taking a break or are we going until two? Well, I'm talking about do we want to take a break and then play to till, till two? Or are you guys mm, all game? I'm good with that. All right. It's already two, so. Not here, they ain't. Not what here, up, they ain't. Eastern Time Zone? Mm -hmm. Let's let's go. Okay. Welcome back from the break. I would say, yeet. <laughs> yeet. Okay. So, uh, we are back from the little break here, and the break, the break. Um, spirit, what have you? What have you been doing this day? This has been a. This has been an uneventful day for some of you. Um, for others, a rather eventful one. But uh, Spirit, what have what have you been up to? Uh, probably now. nothing really. Nothing really. I don't know what else she has left to do here. Dang, she's she's completed her mission now, hasn't she? Yeah. She was just sent to help get their souls back, so you know. <laughs> just like, what do? So we talk to your bosses. So ah, they'll be fine. <laughs> um, you're you're kind of. Would you would you be out wandering the markets or anything like that, or are you just staying inside? Eh, she might wander around a little bit. Okay. Kind of wander around. Um, let me go ahead and get some music here because there's no freaking music. And like, music is good. Y'all. Yeah. Okay. You're kind of wandering around the markets of Thunder's Reach and uh, you find yourself just curiously looking at some of the stuff. You've spent some time here in, in Faerun or Toril now, but you, you haven't really gotten, haven't had any time to really learn a whole lot of, bunch about this world um you've never needed to learn about it in the past really but uh kind of wandering through the markets walk watching all the people you see curious things that they don't really have in in asgard they have like market stalls and merchants but for instance you see a man uh selling pie just fresh cooked pie and he, uh, is Sam snoring? No, Sam... I'm here. Okay, okay. Um, it's just interesting to you because, like, food on the side of the street is not a thing in Asgard. Uh, eating is, like, a, a very proper and prim thing, and you, you don't go to the street to eat. That's not something that you do, even... Even peasants know that. You 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 eat where food belongs. Um and so it's just kind of like a strange thing to see. You you wander around and, and see other other instances of stuff like this. Just strange peculiarities that you would never see in Asgard. Um you see a man uh feeding oats to a horse and uh at, at one point he's like eating this this vegetable, it's like a cabbage or something, and he just turns around and hands half of it to the horse and the horse is munching down on it. It's not something you usually would see in Asgard. The the people don't eat what the what animals eat. They're very separate and, and different. Um but you you just keep seeing stuff like that as you as you wander around the market stall. Is there anything you're looking for at all in particular or are you just wondering? Just wondering. Okay. So it's it's a really peculiar um, kind of experience to finally have a, a moment to breathe in this world, uh, and people are yelling at you, "Hey, come over here! We've got blah 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 blah." And um, there's 
it's all set to the backdrop of a uh, like a rebuilding effort in the city at the same time. So you can see like people are rebuilding buildings around, and uh, some of these merchants probably had shops at some point, but they are currently out in the square still doing their thing, and it's it's just different from Asgard, and that maybe that's a good or a bad thing. That's up to you to decide, but. It's just a really strange world. I believe it. <laughs> but yeah, you um wander about for a while and maybe buy like some some random street food at some point. Like after watching for a while, I'd like to imagine like tummy grumbling. <laughs> you kind of like mm, maybe it's worth eating. Uh, buy some like random street food, and this guy sells you a kebab, and uh, it's really good. Like legitimately, it, it it doesn't compare to like a fine, massive feast from from Asgard, but it, it does have a charm to it. Pretty good stuff. So, street food is good. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. What happened? What happened? <laughs> Street food is... You will probably never have better pizza than walking up to a fucking pizza, one of those pizza carts in, like, Chicago, and just being like, hey, give me some pizza, and just buying Yo, some pizza there. Have you ever had Mexican street? No. Well, no, not really. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a, that's a lot of what the merchants are here is like like street food vendors. There's um, a lot of seafood. There's a ridiculous amount of seafood. Um, there's kebabs and pies and curries and all sorts of other delicious stuff. But yeah, you you just kind of take in some sights today. Then um, the day slowly starts coming to a close. Lily and Oz, you finish your ritual. Uh, Groen um, is, I I I think he would probably still be recovering in the keep from his ordeal of having his soul injected back into his body. Yeah, I don't think it'd be a lot for him. Yeah. Um. So, Oz, what do we tell everyone else? Uh, the truth. Like. The whole truth? Well, no, not the whole truth, because... People can use things against us. By abilities. Oh, God. I've given myself a week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something to think of beforehand. <laughs> Ow. No, not well. No, I'm well. Yeah, kind. Of, no, but people can use you to hurt me. I would like to see someone try and capture me. I don't... I, that's not... I don't no. think it's... No, mm. I mean, it's either you're near me and I'm fine, or you're not near me and I'm still fine because... It would take a lot to keep me someplace. Just like you. <laughs> a lead box would probably do it. What box? I said a lead box. I don't. I don't think so. I 
mean, if it's going to keep that giant monster thing, sure, it can keep you. I mean, I can... I'm fairly certain I can just plane shift out of it. Maybe. No, it can't plane shift. Can it? No, no, no. The ethereal plane. Ethereal plane. The point is... Yeah, but the ethereal plane is, like, along... It's different than, like, actually plane shifting. Right? Yeah, you guys do not know if it has the ability to cast spells, necessarily. Um... You just know that from what Jergal has told you that a lead box should contain it. Yeah, because you can't walk through like. Um, and Lily, don't you have the plane shift spell? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, plane shift. You cannot plane shift if you are trapped within a lead box, or maybe that's an, a holdover from an older edition. Um. No, I'm fairly certain plane shift it says. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say anything about it. Yeah, it's an older edition. Yeah, that's <clears> interesting. <throat> yeah, okay, never mind. Because that's how it worked in 3.5. Yeah, it's 3.5, and 4E, no planar travel can cross through lead barriers. Yep. So, okay. That still doesn't mean you can't be captured. Right. I guess. End of the day, you don't have any of your magical things left. Uh. Uh. That would be that would be really impressive. Because let's see, I've got. I've got my connection to my my deity. I've got the staff. I've got. All of my magical prowess. Um, I I can li- like uh, <laughs> I have how many magical items in my little bag? And she like holds up her bag of holding and shakes it. <laughs> I think you mainly have books. There's a lot of books. <laughs> Lenara. You're not understanding, no matter how much stuff we have, no matter how strong we think we are, we are still vulnerable. I guess? There isn't any guessing about it. It's it's a fact. But isn't that why we're a team? Cover each other's vulnerabilities. I mean, I guess. There is no guessing about it. It's a fact. Well, I don't know if that's a fact. I mean, really, we're a team because your father figure offered us gold to kill to bring some soul gem. And then that all got... Con- I mean... Everything that happened since then is just happy coincidence. Or maybe it's not. Maybe all of this is predetermined. Whoa. Do we know about the rug? What? The rug. What about it? The rug? The The rug and, uh... The that one shot we did, Val and Ember and you mean you mean oh, the tapestries? The tapestries. The tapestries. Sorry, yeah. tapestries. Yes. Um. That's. I mean, we no. know about the, philo- the 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 prophecy. You know about the prophecy, but you haven't seen those tapestries. I didn't unmute my mic. No, you didn't. I can. I can. No, I know. Is there a reason I can be- only hear spirit through Aura's mic? Because mine's muted. Oh, that's really weird. I was making fun of him about something. Okay. Was it? Was it? Was it them doing it? Is that what you're making them fun of them for? It was the Brazier thing. 
Oh. I used to think Brazier was pronounced Brazier, and then I found out that Brazier is actually a bra. <laughs> 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 the world is good <laughs> but yeah um, no you, Val has not told you anything in fact Val has been almost not in contact with you like other than, than very brief contacts here and there um, she has be, you've seen her get like this before she's in one of those there is shit to do moods and everyone around her is at that point unimportant yeah, no, I get it. It's like when your dad goes out for cigarettes. <laughs> Never comes back. Never comes back. Or, in my case, when he goes out for meth. <laughs> Yo, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag mood. Hashtag big same. Oof. All right, so... You know, um, my, my point still stands. So as long as we're together, we... Do anything now? I would like to sleep. Sleep would be good, but I have something I need to do. I you don't have to come with me, but I need to talk to Cormier. I will go with you. No, it's fine. You can just open like a like a like a rift thing, and I can step through it. And... What? Isn't that how it works? You like tear a hole in space and time and you can send people through it and teleporting so, or whatever. I need a... I don't know. You, I don't know. There's a fine line between science and magic and I don't understand either of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I need a sigil to do that. Like a sigil sequence. You have hill spot. Little, little pretty circle that goes on the ground that allows you to make portals. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. You can't just like do that. That's not just something you can just do. To a random place now. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So is there like somewhere that you can do that, or uh, do you want to? I mean. Why, why am I teleporting? Well, I just need to talk to Cormier. I have some important business to handle. I'll go with you. Post haste. Then let's go. Okay. How do we do the fancy teleport thing? Where are we teleporting to? To Hillsfar. Oh! Right! <laughs> Okay. Um, you need yeah. like a fancy circle or something, or? Uh, yeah, we taking the wine with us. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I. Yeah. I uh. At a glance, how much do I think that wine's worth? <laughs> oh, it's. I mean. Actually, you in. know what? Fuck it. I don't even care. Okay. I'm just. I'm just gonna leave them like four thousand gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh my god, we're never sharing a bank account. <laughs> I I mean, I figured it'll cover the wine and I'm making a donation to the temple of my goddess. You donate with money? Yes. Well, and work. Ah, oh, that's weird. What do you donate with? Why? I feel like if I tell you, you'll get mad. Uh, doors? Souls? Oh, is that why you kill people? Well, oh, I mean, I have to give them to your goal. It's not like I'm just killing people for fun. What do you think I am, a sociopath? Goodness <laughs> <laughs> gracious. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast teleportation circle. <laughs> Okay, and you cast teleportation circle. Where are you going exactly? Uh, hills far apparently. All right. Yeah. This is a temple of Cormier here in. It's well, Cormier is not a god. Cormier. A... Oh my god. Uh, He's my secretary. Uh, <laughs> right. Oh, I. 
you mentioned Guild Wars 2, and now my brain was like, Cormier, yeah. <laughs> the god. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh, god. You know, I'm kind of surprised you didn't inside check that. The god of corn and ears. <laughs> <laughs> or, or just ears of corn. Actually, um, I don't even have to fucking do that. I think I have this prepared. I don't. Never mind. <laughs> Great. Okay, <clears throat> so you teleport to um, Hillsfar, and are you looking for uh, are you looking for Cormier? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. You go to the Quiet District. Make your way there. Uh, been there, done that. You do manage to find Cormier. He is in like the main directive area. Um, the war room, so to speak. Yeah, pretty much the war room. Important point of order here. Um, as you're walking through the camps, um, it, you notice it's pretty it's pretty crowded, like like a little too crowded. Um, you also notice before before you actually enter into the camps, um, there are Hillsfar <clears throat> uh, guards posted outside of the quiet, quiet district. More what than the normal. Hell is, what is going on? Uh oh! Hi! Hi! Uh, great! Great one! Uh, hello! Uh, I did not expect you to. <laughs> Told you not to call me great one. Uh, my apologies. Um. What? What? What do I call you? Oz. Oz. Oz is fine. Oz. We've been Oz. over this corner. We've been over great. this. Great. Right. It's just when you're talking to some. Right. Um. So. I did not expect you to be here. Um, wow, I have a lot of news for you. So, so recently we've we've uh, driven up recruitment, 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 recruitment. Um, and we have several different cells, and uh, we're gonna need to find a bigger place. Yeah, there's a there's a castle somewhere. We can just kill the stuff and move there, right? Y yes, we've sent scouts to investigate it on your orders, and we did investigate uh -huh. it. Um, some and? of the scouts, some of the scouts did not make it back. Um, uh -huh. It is overflowing with undead. Okay, don't we have like holy men or something? We could send an actual troop there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't have to run everything by me, right? Just like, like I trust you to do your thing, because you know that I can kill you if you do things super not cool, right? Oh, like do uh, your stuff. Uh, okay. Yes. Um. You, you. You. Go. Go fetch the. Go fetch the. The, the captain. Y yes. Yes. That captain. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Uh. Do you have people to set up a. Uh. A, a sigil sequence for the area. Um. We can send some mages. We do have some that are trained in the craft. They basically just have to you keep just testing like... teleportation circle every day for like. A year. A year. <laughs> or have like oh. three mages cast it like 120 days each. Oh, okay. I will. I will uh, check our, our roster and see if there are. Or have like 30 mages for like 10.6 days. Or what if we have like 120 mages just do it once? Ah, <laughs> uh, you would. They would need to be there for uh, three days. Okay. Uh -huh. What if we? It's like three hundred and sixty mages. I'll cast it once. Three hundred, three hundred days in a year. If you're casting it for a year, yes, you need three hundred mages for a single day. Um, I would, uh, I will, I will uh, observe our our roster and check to see if we, how many mages we have, and and get a, a call up to, to get that done. I mean, it's it's not top of the priority list. You know, let's just. We can walk here. We know it's fine. Great. But yeah, it'd be cool to have this eventually. It's just like a, hey, let's just pop in and see the people and um, the district. Uh, excellent. I can I can make sure that that's done for you. No problem. Great. Um. Okay. So that will be done. And he like marks down a little thing on the checklist, and he hands it to some other person, and he's go go take care of that for me, please. Thank you. Uh, and uh, he like pours over some notes on this desk in the middle of this room. Um, right. So uh, you should know current recruitment is up to um, uh, eleven thousand five hundred and twenty-eight. That's a lot of people. 
It is. It is. Um, part of that is in uh, a different cell in Blassingdale. Um, we did uh, recall initially, but it looks like some of the people did not recall, and they have started their own cell in Blassingdale, and they uh, they apparently have been rather sex- successful in recruitment there. I hate that place, but yeah, great. Wait, 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 wait. The shithole? Yeah, well, okay, hey, that's where... That's where it all started. That's where one guard was convinced of my glory. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to send a sending to this guard. Do you know his name? I don't. I know his face. It's true. I did assist in setting that true. up. This is true. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I'm a I'm gonna send a sending and be like, "How goes recruitment for the great and benevolent Oz?" Um, you send the sending and uh, you get no response. Oh no, he's dead. Miss that. He, it's not just you get no response. The spell fails. <laughs> he he is he he is either on another plane of his ex- existence or dead. Probably oh. dead. Did you guys? Did you guys kill him? What? Kill who? The guard that was in Blessingdale. No, I've not killed anybody. I've not ordered okay, the well, death I know of that's a lie. Well, I've not killed anybody of that nature. I, I, okay. I haven't ordered the death of that man either, so it was not on our our orders if he is dead. Are you sure people are still alive there? In Blessingdale? Yes. No, we we got a report just a day ago. We have mages now. It's great. Sending is so useful. Huh. So you know you can send me things, right? Like, like I, I'm available. I, 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 we can. Yes. Um, I was just. I know you're very busy, and I did not want to bother you, you know, with the. Maybe oh, sometimes yeah. I just like. Maybe sometimes I just be like, just a little hi, 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 how you doing? Uh. Of course, yes, yes, of course. I will, um, I will proceed with, uh, ensuring that occasionally there is a hi, how are you doing? Um, why, why are you so tense right now? Relax. <sighs> Here, just... Are you doing everything by yourself again? Y- yes. Because I told you to hire people. I hired people where there's not enough competent people. People are stupid, Oz. I know. I know, bud. I know. (laughs) They're so stupid. They're all so dumb. I know, bud. I told somebody... I told somebody to run a simple message. It was a missive that we did not want to send through sending to Blassingdale. And instead, he ran it all the way to Waterdeep and then had to go contact somebody to send the sending to me. Why am I not able to find this person? Because you're in Waterdeep, you moron! Okay, why are we not educating people? What we need to set up some education systems. Training school. No, like, like, yeah, but for books, <laughs> <laughs> like training, but for books. <clears throat> I, so, because teach cause, people to read. Sure, but for like. You want a training regimen? Yes, but for books. What do you mean for books? People need to learn so they're not stupid. (laughs) They need to know how to read first. So reading is part of the training regimen? Yeah. I'm just saying we need to somehow create... We need need to focus on more than just... (laughs) Stabbing. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. What the fuck? Like so. So we we can. What's set up that a... word? It's like. Let's see. You go there, and they have cool. people. That's the one. 
Well, that does run into a problem. Uh, you see, the establishment of schools would, would be one of the first steps to actually forming an, uh, uh, well, a, a government. A government, yeah, a community. A, a, but 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 there is a problem here. Um, Hillsfar does not want us here. We are getting too big for their liking. We, they have classified us as a uh, potential military threat. Well, see, no, uh, that I could I could see that that makes a little bit yeah. of sense. Yeah, they they have uh, requested that we uh, hmm. contain no more than five thousand people within our walls at any given time and that the Quiet District remain open to Hillsfar guards. Up to this point, we have uh, kind of closed it off because they did a lot of snooping, and they were kind of jerks about it, and we just told them to leave. And when they didn't, we, uh, I said, all right, that's fine. Um, and then I forced them to leave. You forced them? I, I, I did. Um, we physically carried the guards out. I informed, I, I ordered that they not be harmed, but uh, we did physically carry the guards out. Okay, but no one was hurt, correct? No one was harmed. Uh, one person got elbowed in I the face. Care. Our people or their people? Our people. Okay, that's fine. We don't, we don't need to make enemies of the guards right now. Uh-huh. That's I... not... <clears throat> That's not, um, that's not beneficial for anyone. I, I understand. Uh, I, I don't think... I, I, I do agree with you. I, I don't... Uh, <sighs> I'm, I'm trusting you, bud. I'm trusting you. This castle sounds really appealing right now. I will make sure oh, yeah. that we get it cleared out. I was waiting yeah, to... Yeah, out. Let's, let's um, clear that out. Uh, we'll move as many people there as we can, and then we can build around it to create some sort of civilization. So are we, like, forming a city now? Our own city-state? Is that what this is? I don't is? know that I... I don't know that I would call it that. It's more like a... Like a um, commune? Well, no, because that's the little... Um, that's pretty close to cultish, and we're not there. Okay, okay. Um, like a... Like a... Kind of like a... Kind of like a small independent country um, that's only like made up of like a, a city or two. Oh, okay, so so we're not calling that a city-state, then? Well, I mean, if you need to call it that, sure. Oh, no, I'm, I'm just, uh, yep. Yeah. But <clears throat> I also feel like that if we create an actual city-state, then the King's Alliance or whatever the fuck might come snooping around, and they are much worse to deal with than a few guards in Hillsfar. Understood. Okay. I understand. Huh. So we are not creating a city-state. Got you. We are simply organizing a mass... Um, we are organizing a... Uh, organizing a mass worship. Yeah, but we're not okay. Okay, um, yeah, <laughs> that's that a cult. Would, okay, cult. Um, <laughs> man, oh man, you're really making it hard to not call this a cult. <laughs> he just looks you dead, panic. Aren't we a cult? No, I don't like that word. Maybe like, oh, oh okay. Let's just call it a religion. There's not very much difference. Okay. Um. So, all right. Uh. There is a religion. We are. We are. We are religion. And we Got are it. forming. We are forming a religious city. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. Where we can worship in peace and not be persecuted by the guards of Hillsfar. Excellent. Okay. And we're starting just outside of Hillsfar. <laughs> Let's well, go. yes. Yes. Um. But the main reason that I'm here is that I need you to get our, um, well, I guess, 
buys is the word we would use. Mm -hmm. to uh, look our in... information network. Yes, that, yeah. Our um, information network. I need you to research something and see how much of a threat it is to us. Okay. What are we researching? The Midnight Order. Ah, fuck. Uh, he he looks... Yeah. I, uh, I think we can do that. Is that not a bit dangerous? I mean... There's a lot of things that are dangerous. Having 11,000 people in a space that's supposed to contain half of that? Dangerous. Lucky more people don't get stabbed here. We have had a problem with crime lately. I've been really cracking down on it. Okay, why don't we form our own kind of... Um, well, no, I don't want to give anybody power for anybody else, because that's just mean. Mm -hmm. We need rules. Yes. And we need people to enforce those rules. But... So a government. I don't... See, I don't... I don't want to, <laughs> don't want to call it that. Maybe some like commandments or something, <laughs> like a um, like a collective will. There you go. Uh huh. I see. I see. Collective will. Mm hmm. So you were forming a pseudo anarchist coalition of religious zealots with a constitution called the collective will i like this yep yeah that tracks <laughs> <laughs> yeah all that's pretty much yeah oh, it's all pretty much man. online yep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah he he says that he will uh get your information network quote unquote uh on you investigating the network they are already forming dossiers on our our uh, our collective um, collective um the, mm, I don't want to use the word coalition. What if we just use collective? That's fine. Yeah, yeah. The collective, our collective. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're already looking into us. So we need to be extremely careful. And you also need to find out if anybody here is giving them information. Because if they are, they will be punished to the fullest extent of our commandments. <laughs> you realize that, like, Oz is just handsome Jack now, right? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> you played everybody's, the the hero of their, everybody's the hero of their own story. Nope, you're right, you're right. Oh, this is great. Okay. So, uh, he does, he does agree and gets that settled for you. Um, he, like, calls in a couple of people and he, he gives them various instructions and they, like, bow to, to you and then they bow to him and then scurry and go about their business. Um. Did you tell them to bow? Are you making I, them bow I, to you? I didn't. I, no. I'm gonna inside check that. Okay. It's a power move if you did. I get it. That's a 24. <laughs> Seems to be telling the truth. With a 24? Yes. Okay. No, I'm, hey, man, I'm just... I'm just ascending away. That's it. That's, you need, that's fine. Look, yeah, uh, I mean, we can... How is the ascension go? Is it is it painful? Does it burn? No, not at all. It feels curious. great. I feel oh. like... Um, I didn't realize I had 11,000 people. It's like, do they know that I'm what they're here for? Uh... Sort of. Um, don't yes, like that. But they don't. They don't know you directly. Um, so they do. They even believe that I exist. Usually, yes. Um, sometimes, no. Sometimes the, there's there's debate on that fact, and we chuckle to ourselves. And no, no, no. Oz is definitely you, real. You, What do you do with these people who don't believe you? Oh, well, we re-educate them. 
re-educate them how? Well, we sit them down in a room and talk to them about their transgressions. Non-belief is is stupid. It's a matter of fact. You you exist. It's. I mean, we don't want to. We're not. We're not forcing people to believe in anything that already exists. It's just there. It's a fact, right? Right. So... Right. And and if they want to live here, then they would ha- they would have to accept that fact. If they don't want to accept that fact, then of course they can go about their business and 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 leave. We are we. The collective is accepting of people of different faiths. Yes. As long as they also accept. You. Exactly. Right. Ex- See, you right. understand. You get I... it. <sighs> this, is what, this is you what sigh. <laughs> the whole time he's kind of just like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. Uh, can can we like Do I need to give them a speech or something? Uh you, you are more than welcome to if you if you think you would help uh right now our our biggest crisis our number one problem is space. So and also Hillsfar not liking us that's a big that's a big deal. Well, a uh, uh, growing uh, radical military threat in their borders, as they put it. Okay, I don't think we're a military threat. Uh... Well, I mean, we're not really, we're not really a. Th- well, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> we may be a threat, but that's only because we are. We're just actively training better... military troops. Yeah, we just happen to be training our troops better than they're training theirs. Mm. And, you know, I mean, they may be a little jealous about that. That's all this is. Just jealousy. Uh, Of course, yes. It's just jealousy. Uh, All right, well, I feel better. Um, I think I need to uh, hire a few more assistants and uh, work on work on getting... uh, that that castle taken care of yes Mm -hmm. also please for the love of god start teaching people things teaching educate them how many children how many children do we have in this place um it's about uh 20 ish percent of our population okay yes educate them train them it's it's some almost 2500 if i if my math is right okay yes okay we need Make sure they know how to fight, but also make sure they know how to use their brains. Are you making Sparta? Because, well, no, I, <laughs> I mean, not really, but that's not, wasn't my intent, but apparently okay. that's where my brain is going. Okay, great. Okay. Um, sure, we can, we can do that. We can train them in, in the, the not, martial arts and the, the, not the mental arts. all fights are won on the battleground, my friend. But yeah. Yes, of of course. Administrative duty is just as important as uh, the front line. Yeah, I don't know what that word is. Yes, of course. Don't. I, I, I yes. Well, yes. I I will send these troops, and we will clear this castle, and this this will solve a large portion of our problems. Yes. All right, away with you. Go do it, and he points to like the the captain that had come in, and the captain's just been sitting there this whole time. And the captain's like, "Uh, what am I doing?" You take take soldiers, troops, preferably ones that can cleanse the lands of the undead. Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna go get, clear that castle then. All right, I yeah. guess I guess we're gonna go clear that castle then. I'm gonna Don't need a, a whole bunch of people. Nope, not dying, not made it, not today. Nobody else, not on my watch. Let's go. We're going to get a whole bunch of them holy men. We're going to walk into that place and we're going to cleanse the undead with holy fire. Be smart, please, for the love of God, be smart. Do you, as, do you have maps of this building? Uh, as a... Nope. As a strong holy woman, I place my hand on him. I will bless your journey. And I cast guidance. Mm-hmm. I'm really hoping he doesn't know what spells do. Okay. Um, uh, do you 
Do you know anything about this place? The layout? Anything? Um, we know the land around it. We don't know the inside of it, though. So Okay. You that's need the... to make sure that you take someone map the place. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll, we will we will take somebody to map the place. We got a we got a dwarf guy uh, named Enden. He's a... Okay. Don't let him die because if he dies, those that's your map's gone. And those yep. maps are my maps. And uh, I don't like losing my stuff. Y y y yes, sir. He salutes you. All right, I'll go He's right away. Gonna die. Gonna <laughs> Turns die. around. <laughs> <laughs> and you have you have sent uh, the man off on a journey. Okay, he's so dead. you're gonna get the information network. Yeah, he's gonna die. You're gonna uh, get yeah. the information network to research <laughs> that stuff. Uh, yes, I've already I've already put up missives for this. Cool, 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 cool. cool. <sighs> Bring, uh, just give me like five of the information network guys. I have a very special mission for them. Um, sure, I I can get you. I can get you a couple of people. Post haste. Yes, I will. Uh, do you want them to meet you somewhere? Here, you're still standing here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, he turns around and leaves. Um, he comes back. Uh, there are five people following him. Um. And one of them, uh, one of them catches sight of you and, and kind of like freaks out for a second, but then immediately like regains her composure. Uh, and then, all right, night, Zuma. And then, uh, he introduces them one by one. They're all fairly specialist spies, um, generally sneaky sort. Although one guy is an interesting, interesting individual for a spy. He's uh, fairly large, like, he looks human at first glance, but he is just gargantuanly huge. Uh, and you pretty quickly realize he might be like a half giant. Uh, the, 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 these are the spies. That's a... That guy's a little yeah, big okay. for a spy, right? Yeah, that was my thought, too. But you know what? If he's good at what he does, cool. Don't need to be sneaky to be a spy. You just uh, need to fool no. other people. Well, I guess you're, that's correct. That, that's, yeah. Um, Let's see here. Okay, so... I need... Well, one, um, Cormier, how is the research on finding Luce going? Because I gave you that one a while ago. We we have located Lucerne. Where is he? Luce Theron last was sighted not far from the ruins of Kundrakar. Wonderful. It's another problem I'll have to deal with eventually. Uh... What? You don't, you don't think that's a like an immediate problem? Oh no, that's something I can deal with. Uh... Like... What is he? He's gonna go into Kundrakar, isn't he? He's gonna try, but uh, last I checked, we have a lot of members of the sale at hand there. Some maybe I'm not sure if they're still there. We yeah, we still have people there. You don't think you could take them? Could you take them? Well, yeah, but he's not nearly as strong as I am. You sure about that? No. But I like to think so, and the fact that you're questioning it <laughs> really hurts my feelings. I'm not saying you're weak, I'm just saying that, like maybe he's close to you. No one's close to me. <laughs> Let me have the- you're supposed to support me in these things. Alright, I know, I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm if you've been doing this, be how, how strong has he gotten? How strong has he gotten, Cormier? You're supposed to know these things. <laughs> We we don't have a, a, a measure of, of, of strength as if there's some kind of sliding scale or actual comparable. Um, I mean, physically, on a scale of like one to twenty, where how strong would you say he is? We we watched we watched him kill about forty orcs by himself. So okay, well, what kind of orcs? Fairly large, burly orcs. He is shown to be a, a, a considerable threat. I believe my my men have told me. Okay. 
All right. Cormier, <clears throat> you're dismissed. Uh, yes, sir. He bows, walks out of the room. Okay. Uh, Lily, can you cast silence on this room? Uh, yes. Who's Who's left? Oh, oh, rip, <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Lily, you were supposed to cast silence on the room, not the person. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, gosh. He'll realize it in a second, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Either that or his internet, DC. It keeps you in roll 20 for a minute. Hello. Bot? Uh, there, uh, okay. Hello. Hi. Yeah, sorry. Discord crashed. <laughs> oh, rip. Yeah. So so you can cast silence on this room? Uh, I mean, I, I, we, we can just talk. Or, you know what? Just uh, give me a telepathic bond with these guys. That's that's all we really need right now. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Um, uh, I can do eight. That's fine. I just need the people in this room specifically. Okay, I can do that. Okay. Okay. Um, you telepathic bond all uh, all seven of you. Cool. Great. Grand. Wonderful. Uh, who's all in this room? So it's the five guys and then me and Lily. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, I need you guys to investigate Cor Cormier. Because I don't think we can 100% trust him at this point. They all, like, eyebrows over and uh, looking at each other like, what? And one of them, the the big guy, finally steps forward. Don't I've say what. Just think it. He thinks. He goes to start saying words. Uh, he nods and then you, you hear in your head, I've got it. I want you to know. That if any point he finds out that you're doing this, and he finds out that I'm the ones who told you to do it, I will make every waking extremely painful for you. I mean, they all kind of like awkwardly glance at each other and nod gently. <laughs> I have an idea. Here, none of you resist this. It won't hurt. I promise. Uh, okay. Group up a little bit. They all group I, up. I cast out of truth. Okay. They all fail it. Good. That's grand. That's wonderful. Are any of you going to leave this room and tell Cormier what you're doing? Uh, you get a no from each of them. Can I trust all of you with this mission? You get a yes from each of them. You should make it more specific and tell them to answer one at a time. Are you going to go tell Cormier about this? You get a no from each of them. Okay. Okay. So, I'm... I'm... I can pay you all very... a, a lot of money. If you uh, can bring me back anything on this. One, this one woman with this, like, short black hair... Um, steps forward. Uh, she's got dark skin, and her eyes are just like this. This two sapphires, basically. Um, and she salutes you, and then uh, you hear in your head, "I'm happy to do this for you. I don't need payment." I like this one. Okay, this is this. I mean. The others seem to agree with that sentiment, okay. except for the big, except for the really big guy. He goes, uh, "Like some payment too. That'd be pretty nice." No, I get it. I'm, <laughs> you're a smart man. If kids, if you're good at something, don't do it for free. And that's your first lesson. <laughs> today I'm paying you. Today I'm paying you in a lesson. Oh my god, you really are handsome, Jack. This hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, Steven, I need to know if you've played the pre sequel. 
Yeah, I've played all the Borderlands games. Okay, you are literally Handsome Jack from the pre-sequel right now, and my brain is, like, collapsing. Okay, you don't understand, because that's not, that's not, like, <laughs> what, what I'm going for. That's just how Oz would do things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <clears throat> uh, they all agree and you have five spies to investigate Cormier um, for the purposes of brevity is there anything else that you need to ask nope. Cormier or these spies or anything else nope okay um, and Eve was there anything that you were doing today Uh, yeah I was talking to the beholder getting designs and how big and stuff and okay um you go to the beholder and he starts to describe this like ridiculously opulent <clears throat> lair and he goes <laughs> i'm just kidding i don't want any of that garbage um I, I i would like some warm fuzzy stuff like you know like fur rugs and furs on the walls and you know like fur pillows and and just just in general make it very cozy and comfy Eve just plants her tail Right on his face. Percy! He, he, he's like, yes, exactly like that, but, you know, not creepy. I don't I, I don't want to touch people. Come on, I take very good care of my tail on ears. He, he pets your tail with the psychic beam. <laughs> <laughs> he, describes, he describes his perfect uh, ideal lair uh, much as a... Uh, perhaps a young love-struck person might describe their ideal wedding. Um, he wants it plush and cozy. Plush and cozy. Do you want lots of shelves for your stuffed animals? Oh, absolutely, yes. Okay. We'll need lots of shelving space and storage space and all of that good stuff, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would you like some pedestals as well for one you fancy the most? <gasps> That's a brilliant idea. Look at you. You're an interior designer now. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the obvious. Well, of course. Uh, yes, I would love some tiny pedestals off to the side to display my most prized plushies. I can do that. Um... Also chocolates. Just if, if we're going to include all the good stuff, chocolates. Lots, lots and lots of chocolates. I know of a good chocolate dealer in a, a Baldur's Gate. Chocolate dealer. <laughs> and I recently opened his eyes to the world of magic hand, mage hand, to make what? himself some knitting stuff. Great. Chocolate and plushies. <laughs> the only true way to a beholder's heart. I doubt many people would, uh, many beholders would admit that, or keep that in a secret, secret spot in their layers. Many beholders. I mean, I'm the only beholder, so it's it's fine. No other beholder would ever exist, so it's it's okay. Okay, just a fair warning: there are two other beholders in uh, Waterdeep. They're not beholders; they're just floating eyeballs. It's fine. Oh, they're gazers? Yeah, yes. See, you know exactly the way to a beholder's heart. Okay. I was just making sure. I'm gonna have to take your plush you got from Scylla so I can find some to make more. Any particular material you like it out of. Please don't lose it. It's very valuable to me. She was a very dear friend. I'll treasure her always. I think you'll treasure the plushy more. Just silence. <laughs> but yeah, Scylla is like, oh, I love you, Tenty, too. <laughs> so you you get designs for his lair and plushies and and all that good stuff. Okay. <sighs> all right. And that, I think, is where we're gonna go ahead and cut the session. Spirit, was there anything else you needed to do today? No. Nothing. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the session there. And we will pick it up next time. Because it is 2.07 and I'm brain dead.